girl with digital buttons Analog girl in a plastic shell Analog girl with silicon graphics So real you can have them So real you can't doubt them Hello. Hey. I'm Andrew Allenson. I'm Brian Allenson. We are the developers of Y2K, a postmodern RPG, colloquially known as Yik. Uh, we're excited to show you what we've been working on. Uh, our COVID project has been to update Y2K and improve it in uh, ways that were meaningful. Um, so today we want to show you a little bit of what we've done. It's not uh, it's not quite ready to come out yet. I know there were some people who were hoping that we were going to surprise drop it today. We need a little bit more time, but I think you'll... Uh, yeah, I think you're going to like what you'll see. Yeah. And if everyone could just confirm that we have an okay volume here, uh, if you can hear us and we sound okay, because we've never streamed anything before, so we're kind of... Yeah. yeah. Uh, volume's good. Cool. Okay, so I think we're going to just jump into it. We're going to play some Y2K Intravenous. Let's do it. So here, um, this is our work in progress title screen. It's uh, not necessarily the title screen that we're going to use um I, I am growing fond of it yeah me too it was just a placeholder but now it kind of has a um yeah okay so that's a great comment uh, it's iv not for yeah it's y2k i dot v um for intravenous so y2k intravenous but it also stands for 1.5 because it's a an update to the game and also half a sequel Yeah. 
has no wings. She was never a fly bird. She is the worst friend that I ever had. On April 4th, 1999, I arrived home from school. I had just graduated. It took a few semesters longer than I originally planned, but I was proud to be done. I had no idea what adult life held for me, but I was optimistic. Okay, so before we move on, we're going to bring in uh, some other people to commentate with us. So if you would just hold on for one second, we're going to pull some other people in on Discord. Give me one sec. Okay, so everyone who's in here, uh, if you would just mute yourself, uh, okay. and then we'll bring more people in as we go along, because there's a ton of people in this chat. Um, 
so we'll just slowly bring people in well maybe like every few minutes we'll we'll throw some anew in so we're not talking over each other okay we're going back to the gameplay uh but let's start with uh robin hellcry and chandrastan chandrastan is a brian and i's very close friend who i won't dox hey everyone thank you hello all right okay so uh one thing that we're going to show off right away is alex can now run and he's much faster than he was before yeah this is much better Ah, the classic letter. Alex, dear son of mine, please see if you can muster up the energy to walk into town and pick up some groceries. I've included a list below. <laughs> Not even home five minutes and she's already barking orders at me. So you've got these new scenes with Alex talking into a microphone. Yeah, we wanted to improve uh, the presentation of the monologue sections um, because we knew that that was a place that was uh, losing people's interest in the game. So we've found a way to make it more visually engaging. What? phone call was surely one of the strangest I've ever received. And no, I couldn't hear the music. <laughs> a few hundred yards outside of town, I came to a junction. Mulling over the strangeness of being back home, I stopped to notice a forest I'd never explored. It was dark, but somehow attractive. I made a mental note to explore it later, and took a step towards town when I heard a meow near my feet. I pictured what it would be like to be the owner, and I imagined describing him to a friend. Lonely? Nah, I don't get too lonely. Besides my mom, there's only a cat. An old cat, but a good friend to talk to. My fictional friend would reply, you talk things over, do you? I nod. Uh-huh. Been together a long time, so we can read each other's moods. I understand what makes the cat tick. The cat knows what makes me tick. Of course, I didn't know this cat at all. We never met. He was a funny-looking cat, with a funny resting face and a Salvador Dali mustache. I couldn't imagine picking out this cat to bring home from a store. I leaned down to pet him, without entirely knowing if cats like to be pet at all. His coarse hair ran through my fingers as he purred. Clearly he liked me, and that was a good sign. Alex Eagleston, college graduate, friend of small animals. Hey, give that back to me! Okay, so we don't have the voice acting in entirely, so uh, the new sequences that we're showing that have new dialogue uh, will be unvoiced. Uh, I'm, I might try and read them. I'm not a voice actor, so I'll do my best. Sounds good. You're doomed. May you never fathom who you are. A dreamer, 
a sinner, a saint. No, none of those. A gamer. You like games, don't you, hun? Let me teach you one only the experienced girls know about. It's the dark game, the mother of your dreams and the father of your failures. thing is it's kind of dangerous to do it raw intravenous style blood on blood Don't worry, I'll be gentle. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah yes, the timeline tutorial. Good job, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> so this is the new battle system. When the dark wanna, game begins, uh, each up? actor will start in the wait zone ground. of the timeline. Uh, when an actor reaches the middle zone, they must select a command. The actor will then proceed to the act zone. When an actor reaches the end zone, the selected action is performed, uh, and then they will return to the wait zone. Each action has a different weight and act speed. See this heart? This is all that stands between you and your unprotected life. This heart is called a carta. If your HP val uh, if the HP value on the carta drops to zero, you'll begin to bleed. I'll explain bleed and life in a moment. For now, select attack and destroy your enemy. Mm, you're a natural. But the enemy life was protected by its carta, just like you. You can tell by the three stones blocking the enemy that they have three carta. You'll need to break all three to attack their life. You're going to bleed to death. The life bar will drain when an actor is performing any action. When it hits zero, you will die. When all the party members are dead, it's game over. Oh no, you didn't last very long, did you? Don't worry, happens to a lot of first timers. Let's try again, if you're up for it. This time it'll be easier. Since you were eager, I'll lend you some toys to help. Select the carta and use its special ability. <laughs> carta have a field and use. Uh, oh, that's weird. Yeah, it's so. Oh well. Uh, field skills are in effect while the carta lives. When you use a carta, it breaks for the encounter. Broken carta are no longer protecting you. Knowing when to use a carta and when to keep it defending you will come from experience. Next, I'll show you how to use skills. When you use a when a carta has the carta has lowered the enemy speed, you should be able to overtake them now. 
Reminder, Carta protect your life. If you get hit with no Carta, you will enter a bleed state. Outlast the enemy to win. Shit, we're gonna throw down. Nah, I'm gonna kick your shit in, boy. Don't even test it. Check out my city for me. You can read all that when you really play it. Try to win this one, but most beginners can't, so don't feel too bad if you don't. Just remember what I taught you. Good luck. Alright, let's try our best. Some people might remember uh, this character from the original tutorial that didn't end up in the final version of the game. That's right, he's a little smaller now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, he's summoned enemies. Alright, that's just cheating. Yeah, there is a reward for winning this fight, but we'll keep that uh, as a secret. So, what did you think? Was it everything you hoped it would be? Many people long to play the dark game and build it up in their minds. The fantasy they create usually eclipses what the game is. But like all good games, it scales with time. Yo, shout out to Dog. The more you do it, the more partners you have, the more you'll get the nuance of combat. I'll leave you here to gain some experience. You fretting, bruh? Trying to... To chase the pussycat. Trying to take my crown? Nah, I'm not, a, I'm not about that. No way. Your future partners will be appreciative. Let's go find that cat. And I'll say some people in the chat have already pointed out there's so much things that you can do with this new system and uh, different yeah, we... ways the characters can be designed and different ways enemies can interact with compared to the old oh, shit. Yeah, absolutely. We wanted to make sure that every character now had like their own proper battle role, that everyone's abilities were unique. So we, we created a new system that would allow us to have a lot of options. Okay, now we're going to show off the loading time getting into battle because it probably wasn't clear before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a big change. Robin, you're a little soft. Oh, am I? <clears throat> So what do you think? Is that better? It's a little better. Yeah, I think it's a little bit better. Need for me. No one's voice actor has changed. Correct. Okay. You know, I think that loading screen might have been too long. You might have to show another one off. <laughs> yeah. Need <laughs> for me. Yeah, in case it wasn't clear, there is no loading. So, um, there will also be options, like if you have, like, sensory problems where, like, the, the battle mode seems too colorful or, or it has too much movement for you, uh, you can reduce some of that in the uh, options. So, we have some accessibility options there. That's right. We're also going to have that streamer mode. Oh, yeah. We'll talk about the streamer mode later. Oh, yes. I really love the design of this whole area. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no problem. It's a big challenge to enter a window nowadays. It used to be so easy. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's gotten a little trippier. I stepped into the elevator, expecting to find the cat. 
I scanned the dark floor and found nothing. I sighed as the elevator began to shake, vibrating with motion. The elevator came to a smooth but unexpected stop. I cringed with anxiety as the lights flickered. Please don't die. Please don't die. I pleaded with the mechanical gods to keep the power on. My prayers well, weren't answered. It vibrates with motion in this scene. Damn it! Yeah. Power's out. I need to find the stairs or a fuse box. Different. Yeah, I wrote a lot of new music for the game. A lot of stuff that uh, I felt um, was more appropriate for um, the locations. All the old music is still in the game. It's just a little recontextualized. And all the new songs are still in that classic Yik style. They all yeah. sound like they fit. Yeah, like, I wanted to make sure that it was like an evolution of, of what I was trying to do back in 2015 when I started the soundtrack and, um, you know, use everything I learned uh, since then. It worked. Yeah, I think you definitely did a good job. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Keep out signs. Hey, who's there? D don't come any closer. I'm armed. Relax and quiet down. It's me, Panda. Panda? Why are you here? I came here to help you. I'm always there for you when you need me. Yeah, so the, um, I see uh, people are talking about the here. battle camera still being too fast. Yeah, but as I was saying before, there's going to be options to, um, make it less, uh, intense visually. That's right, like it's very I'll, configurable. Yeah, there's going to be, like, an option for, like, a locked camera. You'll be able to subdue the background colors. You'll be able to key the background colors out, like, like in a stream so you can make yourself, uh, in the background. You so, like, you can use it as, like, a green screen for streaming the game. There's going to be a lot of options. But this is kind of what we want it to look like. So you're seeing what we think it, it should be, but then you'll be able to customize it yourself. That's right. You can press to summon me. Remember to press again to call me back. Also remember that some weighted switches will have reverse effects if you take me off. So press the summon you and press it again to take you back? I think I get it. I hope so, Alex. It's rather straightforward. However, since you were a liberal arts major, you want me to explain yeah, this entire thing explain again? This to me again. <laughs> uh, uh, I think no. Yeah, I think no. This room has changed. Oh, yeah. There's some differences. Let's see if there's any. Uh, I'm sure we'll need that later. Alex, I thought you wanted some friends. I got some friends. Okay.
Yeah, I see somebody talking about the bleed for me voice line. Uh, I know you said you want to have some new battle lines read. Yeah, yeah, we just haven't finished the audio yet. There's going to be, um, uh, we're going to improve that. Like, uh, it's kind of funny because it's become a bit of a meme among the testers. Um, but uh, we're going to have other takes for it when we finish the voice acting. Uh, and I see someone else asking if we're going to have new enemies. Yes, there are a lot of new enemies. That's right. And, uh, you know, the um, items and stuff are all a little bit more meaningful. Everyone's battle, full, battle role is way more meaningful. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's completely reimagined from the ground up. And of course, if you're a masochist and you want to play the old battle mode, you can still turn it on and play it. But you'll have to, it, it's not rebalanced or anything. We're only supporting the, this balance going forward. Yeah, this is the way you're gonna want to play it. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is the new um, the new uh, menu. We have an auto heal, so it'll automatically use like the most efficient items to uh, uh, heal your party. You can configure your Carta. Yeah, you change your equipment, view your yeah, stats. You can view your character, and the weapons change inside. Uh, in like, if you have a different record equipped, you'll see it in Alex's hand. Yeah, I don't think I have one. For him. Yeah, I love that touch. Like, yeah, always. Being able to see equipment is always good. Yeah, yeah visually distinct weapons. Each character is probably going to have like um. Since like the way the game's formed is a little sh is a little odd. Everyone's it's only going to be about like five weapons for each character, I think. Um, but they're going to be uh like trade-offs to decide to use a weapon. So in one circumstance, you might want one that reduces your bleed um but also makes you faster but has less attack you know and you, you know so there's going to be reasons yeah like sometimes you might want to keep an old weapon around i don't know what made me do it but i poked yeah, it's giant interesting eye. this entire area looks quite a bit different from the oh, yeah it did get a bit of a makeover yeah a few um a few locations in the game i uh, have had a uh, um, tears seem to power the room. A remake, the hell or a, at here? least some more makeup. I know somebody asked about Steam Deck compatibility, and we have a beta tester in here who has been playing on his Steam Deck, and it seems to work pretty well. Yeah, so far it looks like Steam Deck is it, it runs well on Steam Deck. Yeah, we'll have to look into seeing if there's like button mapping and stuff you can do with that. Oh, this room's different. Oh, yeah. A security camera? A surveillance camera. I really love that camera in the corner, by the way. I think it just adds to the whole thing. Thank you. That was in a dream I had. And I was like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if we actually did that? Reminds me of the old days of hanging out in the living room, people watching TV, and then me playing a video game in the picture-in-picture -picture mode. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad someone had used that feature. <laughs> Who's there? Dully, is that you? Great, another person. Hey, I can leave if you like. No, please stay. I've been pretty lonely here. Where is here, anyway? I was hoping you'd know. I've been lost down here forever. Did you come through the elevator, too? Elevator? I don't know what that is. Then, uh, where did you come from? I asked, thinking it sounded nicer than, who the hell doesn't know what an elevator is? I came from here. Is there anywhere else? Anyway, I've been looking for my cat, Dali. Have you seen her? So the stupid thing was a girl? I just assumed it was a boy cat, seeing as how it had a spindly mustache. Although, now that I reflected on it, facial hair was not exclusive to male animals or male humans, for that matter. Is that the cat who looks like Salvador Dali? 
don't know who that is. My cat just looks like Dolly herself. Not another cat named Salvador. She didn't know elevators. I doubted she'd know her 20th century Spanish Catalan surrealist painters all that well either. I said, right, I saw a cat earlier. He had a funny mustache and crazy eyes. Naturally, my description of her beloved feline was offensive to her. But clearly, this was a woman projecting a rather strong personality onto this cat. She took a deep breath and said quickly, My cat has a beautiful mustache and perfect eyes. I can't imagine we're talking about the same cat. I told her I wouldn't mind helping her find her cat. I told her we should move quickly and get out of this dank basement. I waited for a moment as she processed what I said. She was a very difficult girl to read, especially without being able to see her face. I could tell something was wrong. She really projected her opinions and feelings into the room, even without saying them. What's wrong? I don't have to help. I just thought you could use an extra pair of cat hunting eyes. It's not that. It's okay. Forget it. Hey, now, that's lame. You can tell me anything. No judgment here. No judgment? Great lie. I like a good liar. Hey, I'm serious. I, I didn't mean anything by that. It's not you. That wasn't fair of me. It's just... The world has used me so unkindly, I fear it's made me suspicious of everyone. Okay, for now, I choose to trust you, but I reserve the right to decide you're just as evil as the rest of the world in the future. Sounds like a fair deal. My name is Alex. Nice to meet you. I'm Sammy, but please call me Sammy. I don't know why I'm trusting you. I guess I always had a special spot for genders. Hey, careful with that word. That is our word. What do you mean, our word? You're weird, Alex. Sorry, lame joke. Let's just look for the cat. That's exactly my face when I make a joke and people don't laugh. <laughs> really interesting how Sammy just invades his mind, his monologue sequence What could there. that possibly be saying? Whoa, crazy <laughs> symbolism. I think we could probably bring, uh, if anyone else wants to talk from the testing server, we could bring someone else in. This looks like a good idea. I think I'm, my mic is still pretty soft, and I don't know what the problem is. Yeah, it's hard to hear you. <laughs> and someone was typing before, and that was coming through on the mic pretty hard. He's a little different. Oh yeah, that's changed a bit. So it looks like we're gonna have uh, Cheryl, Sethu, and Frail hop on now. So cool. You Welcome you, you all. Oh, hey. Yo. You are. Hello. You are. Hello. Hey. How's, how's it going? going? I should probably tell you about Dolly. Good. Dolly you? is a tool, much like your stuffed panda friend. Doing okay. Use Dolly to fetch I'm doing pretty good. switches that are too far away for you to reach. Dolly How many even, uh, so viewers do we have right now? I can't tell hands. from uh, OBS. Useful, so sure we got 392. Cool. Wow. Nice. Big Thank number. you all so much for joining. Okay, so it means a lot to us. Here? We've been wanting to show this for ages, and it's been hard to not just spoil Sorry everything. About my house. Yeah, luckily, I've been we've meaning to get back. someone in here to fix the power, but who has the time for that? I get so busy that little things like that get away from me. But that's normal, isn't it? You get used to the flaws in your own home. It's always confusing for guests. Like my mother used to have everyone take their shoes off in the kitchen. Stuff under rats for a year oh no, place. I've become my mother. Oh, one for last real? thing I should warn you about. Yeah, I've got a now everybody. Roommate. Now His name everybody is Wilhelm. Um. Well, you'll see. What did you say, Cheryl? I didn't. I didn't hear you. Oh, I said it's been uh, it's been hard keeping this under wraps for like a year because oh. uh, Andrew and Ryan have shown me like so much cool stuff. But now everybody gets to see bits of it. Well, thank you for not spoiling anything. Yeah. So if, if anyone's curious, development on this began uh, basically like a week after 1.25 came out. Like we had ideas for it, but like the actual development started right after 1.25 shipped. That's when we uh, made it like our full-time job to work on it. We were working on uh, contract work on other games, and we finished that up, and we decided that we would go back to this and uh, 
try and make um, the best version. And all this is a this is a free update. So if you own the game, this is just you're just gonna get this as a patch. And um, we've done a whole bunch of cutscenes throughout the game. We've done a bigger role for Claudia, Chandra, and Michael in the story. We've also included new characters who are part of like the um, the overarching narrative. And um, it was uh, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it definitely ended up being a bigger update than I thought it would be. Yeah, we, we, we kind of like, once we started it and we got a good workflow going for it, we realized we could push it further than what we had anticipated. So, it's now like a remake and a sequel. <laughs> yeah, speaking of, uh, I couldn't help but notice that the profile picture on your guys' Twitter is up to orange-haired lady in the popcorn. Oh, that's right. I have nothing to say about that. I wonder who that could be. Yeah, I don't know her. She's weird. No, no. Yeah. Robin, you are painfully soft. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, damn. So just like, try run. screaming, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and Frail, yeah, you're extremely you know loud. You know what? Let's get, let's get Whoa, a screaming. Let's make this another a screaming thing. Scream yeah. screaming. <laughs> No screaming necessary. I lower knife fiddle. Let me yeah, you're good. <laughs> Alright, let's see Panda. I love all these new animations. So much effort has gone into invigorating the aesthetic. Yeah, Brian has done an awesome job. Just. Well, thank you. Yeah, putting a ton of life into it. And this update, with the exception of like music, testing, and uh, voice acting, it's just been a two man team creating all this. So all of this has just been Brian and I, and uh, so it's cool that um, it's resonating. Yeah, our testers have been helping a lot as well. Oh yeah, the test the testing has been invaluable. It's amazing. Oh, we lost Alex. Yeah, More comment on how cool uh, Panda looked. Brian, the Alex just got yeeted out of there. He's just gone. So does this change how the how the battle death work? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll talk more about that in a bit. Whoa, what's all this? Sound better to me. Cool. Wonderful to me. So as I said before, um, you'll be able to choose like a stationary camera option for the battle if you're someone who gets motion sickness. Wonderful to me. I think you just prefer that. There's a lot of customizability options to make it. Okay, could you get your way? Yeah, if you're gonna get yik intravenous into your body, you should have some say over what happens. Yeah. 0.5 IV, like, is that the... the for me. Sean Bright. That's great. Wait for me. <laughs> Ask your doctor if yik is right for you, yeah. Bell <laughs> arm. Connect the, to the digital? Sure. Might as well. I was like, Momo well, says, if you can, Alex, I inherently didn't trust you. I feel like if if you relate to Alex at all, the game is probably doing its job. Who's that guy? Oh, Alex. Just a mysterious onlooker. Wait for me. 
guy with a bird beak sitting in a tree. And you just take the mysterious onlooker. I think it, this means that birds aren't real in the Yikka verse. Correct. Not birds are a conspiracy. Yeah. Cat scratch. Oh, no, not on the Yikka stream. We're not talking about that now. Also, uh, each dungeon has a different art style for the backdrops and um, different cameras that are, uh, camera angles are unique per dungeon. Okto says, is the camera angles thing an all or none? I think if it was just your attack that had the camera angles, it wouldn't be too much. Uh, uh, do you have anything to say on that? Um, well, that's a good idea. We'll take that under advisement. I think it could be cool. Peek into the blackened pond. Yes. Yes, I think I will. I don't know about that. Guy. Bad Moon Rising says, uh, is the new content all yes. in the middle of the game? Or are the endings um, slash endgame expanded on it? I've got a roommate. We'll talk about that His after the scene. Wilhelm. Well, this is the beginning. You see, we never really got along because oh, I'm I non-confrontational and he's obsessed with conflict and misery. It's not that we didn't have good times together, it's just... He's so macabre. Anyway, we've been growing apart for years and I think it's time I have him evicted. Do you think you could help me with that before we leave? Hey, Wilhelm, uh, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Look, um, it's... Okay, deep breath. So, there's just no way around it. I'm going to have to kick you out. He's not happy about that. <laughs> Oh, okay, so, so now you have a new party member. Oh yeah, that's interesting. What were you gonna say, Andrew? Oh, I was gonna say someone asked before if the new content was like in the middle of the game or at the end of the game. It's 100% spread throughout, pretty uh, consistently. Like there's a there's a lot of new content, and. Um, it's not like there's like a part where you should start from to see all the new stuff. Like you should just play the game from the beginning, because uh, there's a ton of new stuff all over the place. So, so like uh, a bunch of cutscenes have been redone, a bunch of um, new things have been added here and there. So like as you can see, this is the first dungeon from the game, and you already have like a different party member in it, and you've seen new sequences that you didn't see in the original game. New battles with new mechanics. All new Y2K. So with Pokemon the battles RPG. getting a little bit shorter now, we're not shorter, but more snappy and quicker. Uh, what does this mean for the playtime of the game? It's a lot. I mean, it's longer now. Like, it's, um, I think we've probably, maybe we've added eight to ten hours of new content. I don't want to overpromise, so. I think eight additional hours is probably realistic. That's, that's probably accurate based on what I've played. Oh no, we lost Alex. Oh no. I will say it's also noticeable in the short play time. There's more encounters that you added in this area that kind of make up for the fact that it's so short compared. Yeah, I mean, there, you know, the average play time for a battle is less than 90 seconds. Whereas before... Since you're doing a boss fight. Yeah, I mean, but a, a boss that you expect to be longer. Let's see if we can steal something from... Oh. Just a battery. Oh. Okay. Well. People are uh, wondering if the update will be compatible with their current save files. Uh, no. It, we're, there's going to be some problems with that, and we're still working on how to uh, correct that. And um, but there will be some some uh, some problems with it. But we'll talk more about that in the future because there is a ton of new stuff and trying to make it compatible is really difficult. Yeah. 
You also might get lost story-wise. Yeah, you might you might have missed something. It seems like all of these options in the UI has a different pose from the character. Do all the characters have different poses for these things? Different poses for what? For uh, the items and the skills, it seems like they have... Uh, yeah, they do. Wow. That's all I'm trying to find action. my water bottle. Some detail. Also, on Twitch says the growth piece needs to be easier. I don't think it's so much that it's harder, but it's much more well balanced now. Well, it's more engaging. It's more of um, it requires more thought on the players, and it's um, it's not just about successfully doing the mini games. There's a lot more strategizing. Cat scratch. Yeah, as far as the stream, I think that they'll be posting it to their YouTube later. Yeah, we'll have the VOD on, on Twitch, but we're not partners or anything, so it'll only be up there for 15 days. So we'll put it up on YouTube probably tomorrow. Um, someone asked if the, if like the older versions of the game would be uh, available in the game. Yeah, so you can turn on the old battle mode, um, and you'll still have the new content, but if you want to play like 1.0 or something, like you could do it on the PC, but there's no way to support that on consoles. It's through like the, like the Steam tab with the beta and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna just make like a separate branch, where you can go back to like 1.25. Blessed are those who dry their feet of the blackened pond, for they will inherit the question of reality. Gonna miss him. Yeah. My friends in my note in a Discord server that everyone has 15 HP and Alex is just killing with nine. And yeah, that's, that's good. I wonder if that means anything. He is a beta, a beta male. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I miss little Kroger already. Uh, people are asking if the physical uh, release will come out after 1.5. Yes. That's why it's not out yet. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I am of the so game happy we're almost out of here. Version. This isn't really what I expected to be doing with my day. Well, at least we found Ali. Imagine how much worse it would have been without her. Right. So, where do you live? I'll walk you back home, or maybe I can borrow my mom's car and drive you if it's outside of Frankton. What do you mean? This is my home. This is where I live. What? You live in this shithole? That's not very nice. I'd never call your house a... rap hole because I have manners. Ever heard of them, Alex? Sorry. It's just not every day I meet a girl who lives in an old factory. I don't see it that way. I almost feel as if the factory lives with me. As if the factory just like Dolly is. So will I be able to play this update through my DRM free humble coffee? I would assume so. Yeah. The factory is part of you? <laughs> wow, you're almost as dumb as you look. Of course the factory isn't part of me, that's just weird. But do you actually live here? Yeah. Just me and Dolly. But usually Dolly is better about keeping me company, you know? He's not always just running off to God knows where. No, there's not going to be a Vita version. The Vita no. can't, make, oh. can't make games for it anymore. I'm sorry. No. A mysterious girl who lived with her cat in an old steel mill. Isn't coming out either, right? No, no, no Wii U version. It was obvious to me that her words didn't continue. We're just two people. We're literally just two people. Something about her compelled me. Dream pieces of her story quick. started to fit together in my mind. Well, at least that's what I thought at the time. I can admit now that some pieces were pure fabrication on my part. In my head, her story went something like this. Sammy was homeless. A runaway woman who was trying to escape hard times. We're getting the Nokia and Someone who found version. refuge in her cat. Uh, I don't think so. I don't Maybe think the only that thing ever left from her life. Somehow Maybe you came from an alternate reality. And still, I could tell I was missing something. Her clothes were clean. Her breath was fresh. Are you BCS version? Than any homeless girl I'd ever known. Ooyah version? No, not many. It seemed like what I was missing lay in her temper. Ooyah would work. 
<laughs> is that your hobby? Is what my hobby? Staring off into space and screwing up your face as if to say, what's going on inside my head is really important, so just let me think. TTV says, is update hey, coming in weeks or months? Uh, it'll hope, come hope, out when it's done. It'll come out when it's done, but it's getting there. Yeah. I think it's funny that it became a verb. wants to join the stream. Okay. Vince should join the stream. Okay, okay bring Vince off. T uh, testing, one, two, three. Hey. There you go. What's up, Vince? Oh, I'm going to have to mute the stream audio, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to hear when, everyone when everybody the same is thing ready, twice. we'll move on so we don't mm -hmm. ruin the moments. I love the I love the imagery on all these new um all these new things. Thank you. Michaelers are gonna go crazy. Michael, that's your birthday today. <laughs> well, that's a conspiracy dartboard. Exactly. You guys have a going into games machine? Yes. You can't have it. Okay, let's see if yeah. I can voice act again. I knew, I knew Brian was a programming genius, but wow. Well, is she listed? No, tonight's auction isn't her. It's something I don't understand. An abstract desire. I don't really get this one. It's not anything you or I could relate to. So is your plan working or not? Well, I don't know if I'd call it a plan yet. Form's grown, but so something is happening. The new crowd isn't great, edgier than I expected. 
The reaction to the image proves it. Onism has gone septic. Birds of a feather. The question remains, why that image? What about your outside predicament? <sighs> Don't remind me. I had known her for less than two hours when she vanished from my sight. Sammy was gone for good, swept away as if she'd never been there at all. A door into nothing, into a different reality, opened up and swallowed Sammy whole. That moment I couldn't think, I couldn't breathe. All I could do was replay the scene of her being pulled into obscurity by nothing. There one second and gone the next. Sammy was taken from your party. Yes, Cape Juno will be implemented in some way. Okay, we're going to show a little bit more, and then we're going to take a little break, and then we're going to do questions. To contrast the inner workings of my brain. A dedicated Q&A section. God, I, I can't wait to hear the voice back acting. Back towards my home. Yeah, same. I felt as if I'd seen something that wasn't meant to be seen. I also love that he holds the microphone. As if the curtain scene. lifted on reality yeah, and exposed really the touch. man upstairs. Yeah. Like I just found out Santa wasn't real. I couldn't get wait, Santa's not real? But I now understood. Oh, okay. Something changed inside of me. Did you know? Pulsating through my veins it was the energetic that must charge be a, of the lost no way. Ball for a woman I didn't know. There's no way he's not revealed. I've met it. Like cut every Christmas. I couldn't put my finger on at the time. I know, it's it's a cool guy. He just shows up at the mall all the time. Now that it was yeah. a profound sense that I had discovered something. Only problem was this something wasn't meant to be seen. In that moment. Whoa, I was a that? child finding a magazine meant only for an adult's eyes. You guys put I just put intrigued and repulsed. <laughs> you guys better put Yik IV on your by the images it's not, inside you don't have it. <laughs> oh, I see. My friend is playing Elden Ring and not watching my stream. <laughs> 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 right, Can you blame him, though? Like Elden Ring's really Elden Ring. good. <laughs> oh, is it post yeah, like modern? No. Oh. How did I not see it? It was already the Elden Ring was broken. broken. <laughs> <laughs> the Elden Ring shattered into ten pieces. Pretty dog. Can't wait to hear more DC Douglas. Assuming that says the alpaca is still here. Why would the alpaca not be here? He didn't leave. Yeah. He's just chilling. He's just being a bro and hanging home, out. Tired, For real. Confused. Not a breath. I tossed Hopefully my fingers on the floor. Get the pog. Yeah, come on. Get the pog. Get the pog. <laughs> 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 All right. Like, it's essential for endgame, like, progression. You need the pog. We all need the pog in the chat. Can we get some poggers in the chat? Oh, yeah, can we get some poggers? <laughs> we get the pog. -year -old short I can't believe somebody actually switched to get some poggers. Let's get some poggers in the chat. Pacific chime. For real? West Coast Hell cry, I hate you so much. <laughs> oh, hi, Void. What did you do East Coast? <laughs> Worked her harder in one year than most jobs were. Damn, all the tests are showing up. Without it, my sister and I would have never gotten through college. Oh, gang. I left school debt free thanks to the back breaking mental labor of my mother. Hashtag gang in this you bitch. You have mail. What Guys, I think that? you have to grab the pog. Is that what pog chant looks like now? Yeah, they go, let's go! Yeah, let's, let's go! Let's fucking go! <laughs> let's fucking go! Yeah! I don't understand what's happening. Why are we celebrating? <laughs> you got the pod! It's a Twitch thing. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> there was a moment of where I almost didn't click the link. The last thing he sent me that was oh, allegedly scary down. turned out to be a picture of two elements <laughs> locked in the throes of passion. I sighed and clicked the link. The file was 2.9 megabytes. In the dark room, the monitor was hurting my eyes. I rubbed them and waited for the file to load. I thought of all the things it could be. 
more animal porn, human porn, cartoon porn. You can never really guess with this guy. It's on Twitch said, how is he? I think he's doing quite good, thank you. Maybe a girl from my high school was now into adult videos and is doing some particularly I don't know, he looks a little distressed. Things. While the video loaded, I thought of all the girls I had gone to school with who might be involved Alex's in Alex's new activities. iconic pose. All the girls that came to mind neither have the looks nor the motivation to seek out an adult filmmaker. He's very you, well lit, makes him look very nice. just have to wait for it to finish downloading. Yeah, Alex is when pretty lit. When downloading, I waited with <laughs> fading patience for my computer <laughs> to open in bro. quick time. <laughs> Finally, what the heck? Slowly. Changing the date ever, to ever four since four. the pog happened, the stream has just slowly been getting more unhinged. <laughs> okay, we're gonna show uh, one more thing, and then we're gonna take a little break, and then we're gonna do a question and answer. Uh, so just give me and Brian a few minutes to uh, get a drink and recover from our hour playthrough. So here's the last thing we're showing. This is what I think it is, and that's pretty cool. Hmm? Oh, oh yes. yes! <laughs> That's a, the Quentin Tarantino reference. It's going on the reference page. And that must be a Y2K reference. Yeah, that was a Y2K reference. <laughs> Is this a reference to the hit video game, Yik? What are you talking about? He looks great. He's definitely that ripping. This totally is the same sequence. He's bugging off the pre workout. <laughs> that face when you run out of soil. <laughs> <laughs> that face when your uh, hot vampire boyfriend wants you to bleed for him. So, mm -hmm. is this what a college graduate <laughs> yeah. does? Spend hundreds of. Okay, that's where we're stopping. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to be back, and we're going to talk to uh, anyone who has any questions. We're going to answer them. We're going to probably do uh, some VC stuff. So if you're in the Yik Accord, um, you can pop on and ask us questions there. Um, so give us about five minutes, and we will be right back. E. How's it going, boyos? It's your boy, Hellcry, back at it again with some sick advertising. You love Yik, you breathe Yik, you need to have Yik fill that empty hole in your heart. Well, I can't solve all your problems, but I can tell you where you can buy Y2K, a postmodern game. I know some of you out there are hardcore pen collectors. And these two pens at the Yizbrid merch site should suit your fancy. One's a Bella, fed up with the antics of Alex, and an overworld Alex himself. What about some cool clothes to flaunt how much of a yickhead you are? Big fan can hear us, guys. We have Bella Wild. Missed the 1998 Mystical LP Legend Tour? Well, we found a box full of these old tour t-shirts that you can make yours. Maybe you want something a little cooler. Worn by the legendary hero, Travis Touchdown and Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes, you can pick up the Sacred Geometry shirt. All of these can be found at merch.yizbrid.net slash collection slash yik. Want more clothes? What about an awesome collaboration with my good friend and awesome artist, Rope Snake? Available at Roba Roba, we have this great interdimensional girl shirt. Wait, that's not enough clothes? You want the shirt Alex wears in-game? Well, 
I'm not so sure. Gotcha! Of course, by heading over to the axe shop, you can find even more yik fits for your entire wardrobe. <laughs> Alex's <amazing>. Ordinary <laughs> Colors tee. This is amazing. Claudio's Maho Shoujo Haru no Shimai long sleeve shirt. Maybe even this absolutely awful, ugly Alex sweater that screams, graphic design is my passion. Wait, now that's too many clothes? What about prints? They're like clothes for the walls in your house. And the answer is yes, we got those. And hold on. I'm getting info on a brand new merch drop. Scaling the depths of the mind, we have the Unholy Mountain print. Also available in shirt form. Wait, what are these prints? Deviation perspective? Are you telling me you haven't read the 1.25 short story Deviation Perspective that you get as a PDF when you buy the 1.25 soundtrack on Bandcamp? Yes, that is totally a thing and it is awesome. Just go to andrewallinson.bandcamp.com. There's also preview tracks for some songs coming in IV. But if you want that more authentic sound, then do I have a treat for you. Imagine having the soaring melodies of Andrew Allenson, Callum Bowen, Michael Kelly, Hiroki Kuruta, Bayon, and more on one vinyl. All these little stars on the wall. Featuring an exclusive remix of the Mind Dungeon theme. in a once-in-a-lifetime collection. <laughs> Yeti Records presents the Y2K... Yo, stop laughing, bro. You're on stream, dude. 16 oh, snap. iconic tracks. Sorry. From the cult classic Y2K, a postmodern RPG. Get the Yik soundtrack vinyl in four exclusive prints available at Yeti Records, Black Screen Records, Limited Run Games, and Materia Collective. Act now because these pressings are in limited supply. Some of them have even already sold out. Oh, thank you. Can you hear us now? <laughs> yeah, can you hear us now? Classic Twitch move. I think we've also muted our... Yeah. Is everyone unmuted? Okay, so uh, we're going to uh, talk in the Yik Chord. So if you're a member of the Yik Chord now, um, we can do voice chat there. Um, and of course, we're going to be looking at the regular chat here. So any questions people have... 
We'd love to hear from you. Any comments, any anything you want to say. We're excited to interact. Yes. Hey. Yo, no, I'm on a live stream. Oh, God, everyone's <laughs> joining. Whoa, hey, everyone. That's... Oh, I'm hey, hello. I wonder. Everyone, everyone, everyone. Whoa. Yeah. Nito. Wait. Ah, this is gonna be a hey, problem. Yo, the pizza. No, uh, think we'll get it under control. I think um, <laughs> if any, if there's any mod in here, maybe you could help us out because there's like a. Yeah, it's out. Out. Any, you know, you can out right now. Holy shit. Here, maybe yeah, I don't know how to talk uh -huh. to this many people. Jeez. Hello. Love being in Yink. Hello. Okay, so everybody, it's just rock. so you know, you are being streamed on a to Twitch right now. Um, That's okay. Say hi to Twitch. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Hello, Twitch. Twitch Hello, right. Twitch. Hi, Twitch Hello, right Twitch. now. It's me, you Star Twitch. Show up, the best. Hi, um, hi Twitch. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Right, smile. Hi. It's me, Star Twitch. Okay. Okay. The the bit's over. We've done enough of that. Welcome to the Yeekiverse. Uh, can, can I ask a question? You may. Okay, I, oh. I was here for the last stream, but I didn't get here this time until the Michael scene. Was there anything I missed that, missed yeah, that yes. wasn't shown last time? Uh, yeah. Hello, 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 hello. Hi. Uh, we now have a stage channel open. Okay, cool. So can you um can you can we move everyone to the stage channel who wants to talk and do it that way? Sorry for not organizing this better beforehand no it's all right we, okay. you know it's, it's a, okay. it's, a yeah, it's a big so just thing go you know go ahead and move over to the uh stage yeah. channel and yeah. uh we will you know we'll filter you guys in cool, cool. yeah yeah we'll see well let's do that okay so to answer michael's question from before um yeah we we did show stuff that you didn't see last time okay. um but we're going to be putting this all up onto youtube tomorrow so you'll be able to um to watch it there as many times, dissect it, pull it apart, whatever. <laughs> and there's going to be a VOD on Twitch, but it'll, it'll only be up for 15 days because we're not, like, partners or whatever you have to do to have it permanent or longer. Right, yeah, that makes sense. We should probably move over there, though. Oh, yeah, so let's oh, move. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. I didn't realize I had to do that. Yeah, no problem. I think I can drag him over. Oh, and there he is. Oh, okay, and there goes Andrew. Hello, everybody. How about that ad read? Hey. Hi, guys. That was fantastic, oh, by yeah. the way. I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> yeah, I loved that. Yeah, I thought it was great. It was really cool. 10 out of 10 from me. Yeah. yeah. So everybody, if you want to support the development of Yik IV, please buy some merch. Whatever you liked, it all goes to support the, the development of the game. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so consider buying some Yik merch. So I believe uh, I've never done stage stuff before, I think. Okay. Yeah, uh, I will go ahead and throw this into a different category just for our organization's sake. Cool. Uh, here. Hello, after here, party, Yik. Here. Okay, so, uh, we have a bit of a backlog of questions in the IV stream questions channel, but, uh, if you guys want to answer questions from there, answer questions from, uh, maybe Twitch chat, even though I'm sure most people are asking here now, uh, oh. then we can take those along. I'm not sure if you're going to want to, um, bring any speakers up. But Zeal Steel says, please tell us the battle tutorial music will be re released soon. I need it. It is actually on Bandcamp right now. Yeah, it's on Bandcamp, Spotify, and YouTube Music. So uh, you can you can listen to that right now if you want. Yeah, listen to it a lot. Yeah. It's good. That also <laughs> supports the development of YKV. Uh Yeah, all the new battle music is great. I've been enjoying it. Thank you. Thank so, you very much. It was I a lot of fun. I say that because I didn't do it. <laughs> All of the I... new music is very good. Thank I'm you. I'm seeing folks uh, raising their hands. Should we start? Yeah, uh, let's uh, let's yeah. do that. Cool. Yeah, so we're gonna bring on some speakers. Okay. Let's do um... one speaker, one question, one speaker, one yeah, question. One speaker, one question. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. Let's bring on uh 
I'll try to bring on some newer people rather than like the regulars that we did last time. Cool. Cool. Okay, so uh original bubs. Uh you have been invited to speak on the stage. Hey. Hello, welcome to the chat. Oh, yes, hello. Welcome, hey. welcome. Uh first off, I just want to say um from what I've seen, you're doing you've done a great job. Um had interest in the game when I believe that this update was announced, actually. And uh, uh, my big question was other than the few things I posted in the IV stream, was uh, what would you say was like the most difficult thing between uh, the game's release and the state that it's going to be in uh, with this next update, like in terms of? either manpower or, like, changes create creativity-wise? Uh, well, it kind of, it's, like, a different hard, hardest thing every week. So, like, you know, obviously in the beginning, like, there was, um, uh, like, the initial blowback against the game, an initial blowback against me for talking on the Dick Show and talking about um, video games as, as uh, how video games are art and how people don't, don't know that they're art and they should know that. Um, so there was like a social component in the beginning that was really hard and a sort of like anxiety component of like, well, should I, should I keep going? Should I give up? Like a bunch of people that I knew personally told me to just stop making games, like just give up. People, people hate you. They hate the thing you made. Just stop. And, uh, you know, then the game continued to sell and the audience continued to grow and, um, we got, you know, we, we kind of got over the hate and learned to live with it. And, uh, so that was the first hard thing. So then we tried 1.25 and when 1.25, the hard thing there was the Rory cutscene. It was us trying to see like, well, what can we do for more visually impactful moments? And it, then it became the hard part, I guess, was figuring out the workflow to make exactly once we figured out like a workflow for better animations and stuff that kind of right. um like unlocked a whole new avenue of what we could do yeah unless i'm mistaken you you guys didn't have cutscene making tools at all didn't like and you rolled your own yeah this, uh, everything stuff, was right? we had to make it ourselves because oh, wow we're in an old version of unity and we can't change the version of unity because that'll create problems with the, the console version and uh, so we're we're kind of stuck in um, an older version of Unity. So we had to we had to make all these tools by hand, and That's... Um, yeah, yeah. But that still wasn't the hard part. Yeah, it was definitely <laughs> worth taking the time wow. to do it. That's just time consuming. It's not yeah. hard. Um, should we get the next question? Sure. Sure. Thank you. You want to address something that was said in chat yeah. actually first? Push the chat. Oh Someone sure. Says, What's that? Do you stand for your stance that gamer games are not art and simply toys for children? Well, that's not oh what he God. said. So I never. <laughs> okay, I just, so I, okay, hold on. I, I have I have to do this. Okay, so I yeah. I never said I video. Up. Okay. When I went on the Dick Show podcast, um, the format of the show is what makes you rage. What is the thing that makes you angry? So I, I needed like a good thing to bring so I fit the format of the show. I, I wanted to be good content for the show. And the thing that made me rage was a particular tweet that said that video games are about fun, that they have to be fun, and an unlikable protagonist is inherently not fun. So it's, it's, it, it's a bad game design to make an unlikable protagonist and to make things that are intentionally tedious. So what I was trying to say on The Dick Show, flippantly and sarcastically and um, trying to be entertaining for the show was if you think that video games have to be entertaining at all times and they have to just make you smile and grin like you're playing pachinko or something, then you've conf then vid video games are not art. They're stuck in the realm of toys. But of course, I don't believe that. I think video games are art, which was the whole point I was trying to make. Yeah, see, that's how sarcasm works. So, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like, if, if you look at what I said and you look at the context, it'll be pretty clear that I never said video games were not right. art, that the person who upset me with their tweet and made me a rage uh, was the person who, who was saying video games are not art. 
Right, that was a fun one. Someone just transcribed like a tiny section of what you yeah, said. Yeah, and they yeah. And so, it sarcasm. And it also left out you saying like, I'm pretty sure. Didn't well, I gave the context okay, I... of the tweet and stuff too. Uh, there you like, go. I prepared a bit. Say, yeah, I prepared a oh, bit. Oh, I prepared a bit. Yeah, because that's what it is. It's a no, comedy show. You go on and you're supposed to be performatively angry. So I was right. trying to be good content for the show. So no, I do not stand by the statement that video games are not art because I never said that. <laughs> video games are the highest form of art because they're a fusion of all the art that we consume. They're music and graphics and programming and stage design and lighting. Uh, so yeah, video games are art. I never said otherwise, but I forgive you if you misunderstood and thought that I meant otherwise. You were manipulated by the internet for hate clicks. Sorry. Okay, uh, next question. <laughs> next question. Uh, let's bring on, let's see, uh, Tanuki Prick, you have been invited to speak. That's a what name. a wonderful name. What a wonderful, wonderful name. name. I don't know why that stood out to me. Hello? Can Hello? you hear me just hey. fine? What's up? I hope you're a lot nicer than your name implies. Ah, thank you. <laughs> That's very nice of you. Uh, so I wanted to ask, like, I've been... I don't want to. I don't want to. Wanna, uh, hang on, sorry. I'm trying to collect my thoughts real quick here. I had two questions in my head, and I was trying to choose which one to pick between. You can so ask both I've of them. been like, I've you, been you looking into both. game development on the whole, and it's something that I've been a bit worried about getting into because I've like been taking classes on it. I've been trying to figure out how it works and all that, and like coding and programming and asset creation and all that is something that I've been having a lot of trouble really wrapping my head around. So I guess what I want to ask is, as the developer of this sort of game who is stuck with it for years on end, what would you say is, like, the thing that most well contributed to your learning and well contributed to your, like, work ethic in a manner that you wanted to keep working on something I actually think and the, le gave, learn your skills, I guess? Probably one of the best skills is being able to um, see a project through to the end. Like, I know that sounds obvious, but it's really a skill that has to be learned. Until you've completed something, you don't know how to complete something. Yeah. We learned that from our dad. Our dad is um, a mural painter and a, a wood carver, so he, he would make like art out of wood and stuff like that. So since the time we were children, we were around someone who had to complete these large art projects. And I think he showed us how to, how to do that. So we, we got the skill from watching our dad do it as a profession. Um, even though his medium is different than what we do, it was still, um, you know, like he made like a 24 foot tall giraffe out of wood uh, that he carved by hand and uh, went inside of someone's mansion and he worked on it for like six months. So sort of just like knowing, knowing when to work on the thing, how much time to devote to it, knowing when you're not getting something good and you should take a break or maybe focus on a different aspect of it, like, all of that is the art of making things. Like that's the sort of like artisanal craft part. Um, so like you gotta just learn to be comfortable in that. Yeah, and as for like all the other stuff, like um, programming, graphics, music, um, you know, it's obviously hard to learn everything. Uh, it's easier if you are willing to just let something be good enough and then move on. And you'll get better with time and experience. Yeah, seeing it through to the end is the most important part. Because there's a lot of, it's like what I like to call Schrodinger's right. genius. Who has like, they have a masterpiece, but they've never made anything. And they look at what everyone else has made. And yeah. they I mean, can easily pick out the flaws, yeah. but they don't get the process. Well, like a badly programmed game is still playable if it's out. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's better to ship something bad than to not ship something at all. There was uh, something I kept mentioning to a lot of people and a lot of VCs, like, in the it cord and around it. And I'm like, just release whatever you think is bad that you made. Just release it. And, like, you'll just keep yeah. getting better as you release more and more bad stuff. And eventually, it won't be bad. But people really? are going to love your bad stuff. I think that I saw earlier this summer, I saw a video from the CEO of Patreon, Jack Conti, where he, he talks about this concept and how the art of finishing something and deciding no i'm not going to tweak this kick drum for like two more weeks uh, this is fine i can just say i'm finished with this and i'm gonna get it out in the world um yeah totally yeah i think uh if i if i may inter intervene um that's one of the one of the things 
that uh, one of my songs that I composed for Yip 1.5 took like, about a year to make. Um, just under a year, I think. And a lot of that was because I kept going back to it and feeling like it wasn't good enough. Um, but every version I sent like Andrew, Andrew was just like, dude, this is fucking, this is good. This is good shit. Um, and I wish I had like realized sooner because I'm very happy with what I ended up with now. And the only way I got to that point was I just had to stop and go, you know, okay, uh, this, no, it's never going to be perfect. But... Yeah. Uh, so like you have to have a good relationship with your inner critic. So like your inner critic is going to tell you, yes, I, I should show this to people. Yes, I should finish this or no, you shouldn't do it. And if your inner critic is kind of like a, a combination of all the essayists you watch on YouTube, all the reactionaries you watch on Twitch or Twitter, and you sort of like adopt this persona and you subject yourself to it every time you think about making something. And finishing something is kind of a battle with that inner critic because like you need to consider what the critic is saying and like you have to grapple with the fact that maybe you don't have the brush technique or the harmonic knowledge to make the thing you want to create, but ultimately you have to finish it. And the inner critic is there to make you not release it because you have already imagined the worst case scenario where someone says, don't go on. And that's the thing that you kind of have to kill totally to move on. I struggle with that a little bit. Yeah. Did you have another question, Tanuki? Because you said uh, you had well, two. First, uh, first, I want to say thank you a lot. That is very helpful for me. That's something good. I struggle with a lot. So it's good to hear someone else kind of put that thought process into words. Yeah. And my sec. Oh, sorry. Were you going to say something? Nope. My second question, it was a lot smaller. It was just something minor about the game UI. It, in the tutorial, it said something about like stones showing how much Parta an enemy had, but I didn't see any of those on the battle screen. Is that just something like I wasn't paying attention and looking in the right place? Or like, is there an option to make it so that I can see that in like a health bar sort of style? Oh, so or, what it is, like... is there's basically like these sort of gravestone looking things that appear in front of the character. I'm going to make it so that they appear when that bit of text appear so that you can actually see them so you know what it's talking about haven't uh, gotten to it yet but i will that's why right. it's not that out yet. That's, why, exactly, that's why it's not out yet uh okay yeah. thank you that was great all right thank I you want for to answer answer a question from uh twitch it was asking about the achievements let me see if i can find it uh grass leaf are you going are there going to be any new changed achievements for y2k some of the achievements i've played uh, didn't do it correctly. Yeah, like we know that there's problems with the achievements. We're trying our best. It's the Steam overlay. Um, doesn't seem to be a problem on the PS4. They work the same way. So we're going to try and figure it out. As for new achievements, yeah, they're going to have to be reworked because there's a new battle system and they're all based on the old battle system. Yeah. So that's kind of one of the big things that we have left to figure out. Um, like we're worrying first about uh, that the, like we're building all the battles separately from the game itself and then we're putting them in the game so that playing the battles back to back feels like it has like peaks and valleys of difficulty and unique ideas coming in uh so that's that's the major last thing we have left to do and then the voice acting and then we're going to figure out the steam achievements but like we're going to have to probably work with our, our partners at like the um because there's a problem with patching a game that where people already have achievements and uh, we're gonna we're yeah, gonna have to figure yeah. it out. We don't know yet. We so it's it's yeah. on our it's on our vision board. Yeah, I'm sure any achievement that's still there will be um, obtainable in some way, even if the trigger ends up being different. Dandy Andy asks uh, if we've seen the Oni plays let's play. Uh, I, I told myself I would not watch it. <laughs> um. Uh, I haven't seen it because I don't watch Let's Plays. I have talked to Chris from Oni, Oni himself. Um, very supportive and very encouraging for us to keep working on the game. And uh, the Oni Plays stream was awesome for us. It it uh, it kept development of IV going because it brought a lot of new people buying the game and it kept sales momentum going. And uh, we're really grateful that Oni Plays played the game and that they found it. And... Um, uh, you know, we've um, talked a little bit about their final their final version, so I'm looking forward. I'm going to watch the final one 
because the final one's going to be good. That's all I can yeah, say. That hasn't happened yet, right? No, not yet. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Yeah. I, I want to interject here and kind of ask another question related to this to kind of like wrap it all up real nice. You guys haven't watched like any of the videos about Yik, have you? Uh, no, not really. So like I, wa I saw some of them on your stream when you talked to, to people. So like, here's the thing. Yeah. Like I get the general, like, yeah, sentiment. I know. I, I get yeah. the problem. I, I know why people don't like it. I'm, I'm I, it's I not like can empathize. we didn't have problems with it either. Yeah. So. But like, there's only like so much, like I can spend four hours of somebody doing like a roast style video of the game with like a lot of like, I like I get, so this is the thing. Being a YouTuber is selling your personality. It's selling your reaction. So there's like a sort of a, like a, you know, a performance of a critic um, that needs to be entertaining. And like, yeah, of course, they're saying their opinion about the game. And I'm not saying they're bad faith. I'm just saying the format of the YouTube gaming essay is more entertaining for someone who hasn't played a game or someone who has played it than the developer. There's a difference between a critique and a review. Like a critique is something that like an artist gives another artist who goes, oh, I'm a master in this thing and I see you're doing this wrong and I foresee this problem. And that's really helpful. Uh, you can get that in some written reviews. I have not seen a lot of, like I don't watch gaming YouTube. So maybe there's some amazing person out there who, who does this really well. Um, but like for the most part, it's just not really, it's kind of like hearing yourself recorded or having to watch a video of yourself if you don't do it often watching someone talk about your game yeah especially when it's like like i said it's a roast style review because that's what all of youtube is it's all this optics thing it's just yeah, what the I'll, format is i'll uh i'll clarify that it's not that you haven't heard the criticisms that are yes. in there because people no, no. pop in here all the time and say yes hey you know this guy said this and this guy said this and you guys have like taken that criticism yes but you guys just don't engage with their content because it's kind of it's hard to watch. Yeah. Like look, we yeah. like we've seen all the criticism written out and we we had someone in the beginning watch every essay and tell us what they said. Cuz it's much easier to just hear a blow by blow like they didn't like this for this reason, this for this reason when they aren't popping up a picture of you and like making fun of your like as associating your like my literal image. Like cuz I saw some clip where someone did that. And it's yeah, like, they okay. took you like a South Park character and yeah, had the top like, of your okay. head moving around. Yeah, it's like it's, okay, it's, I get uh... it, but that's weird for me. Like as someone who who's not like a like a like a YouTuber or anything, yeah, and it's I'm... just someone who makes games. Like when someone does that, I'm like, what? What? What is happening? I don't like this. So that's why I don't watch that stuff. Yeah. But I I do. Okay. I mean, I agree with a lot of the criticism. That's why. Back we're to the real the question. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we're updating right. the game. That's why we're updating um, it. Andrew, how much time do you think you'll be spending on questions? Right. I mean, we, from, can, we could go probably yeah. another 40 minutes. 40 minutes? All right. Oh, nice. uh, we do have, like, 28 requests to speak, so just okay, in. Uh, yeah. okay, we have people it. in Twitch chat, and we have people in the channel, so just Two in minutes for want, everyone. Okay, I will let's, make let's, a, um, a Q and a channel where people can post, like, one question, and then Twitch you can... Twitch chat is too through. tiny for me to be able to read. Yeah, yeah just you, in case. Can you make I would, I'll go and encourage those people to join the Discord again. I don't think you can make it bigger. No, you can't zoom in on it. No, Not really, no. Twitch actually has, like, pretty bad UI. Yeah. All right. Um. Next person being invited to speak. User Polly Blues. Hey, Polly Blues. Hey. You doing? have been invited to the stage. Welcome. All right. There we go. Hi there. Hey. Hello. Uh, very nice to meet all of you. Um, big fan. Thank you. Nice to meet you as well. Um. And as I, I'm aware that you know we've we've pretty much talked the whole you know criticism thing to death, but I I did have something written out. Uh, here, preparation just in case. So, you know, as we've talked about, you know, he was really critically panned, and some of it was vicious, some of it, you know, made sense. But, uh, but a lot, but among a lot of critics, there was a lot of good advice, and there was a lot of hope for the game. You know, pe people saw what you were doing; and they really liked it. And, but, but I was wondering if any, like, I, like I know you mentioned a blow by blow, but if any, which which critique of the game that really spoke to you, like, might have uh, inspired you to change something artistically or gameplay-wise? 
mean, no rev- like no review i think it was yeah there was more like general consensus like no one likes the battle mode yeah um, so i mean some people do but yeah, you know. for the most part no i love the battle mode i, I think that well. it was more talking to people one-on-one uh who played the game and like talking to people in yik cord and people who emailed us or people who um you know sent us dms like that was a lot more useful and like hearing people like explain to me like i'm a person like what the problem was that's much different than seeing like something shouted into the void um i think uh uh the hardcore gaming 101 review i i was a, a good one that i i took stuff from rpg fan rp gamer all of them i thought since like our like our, our that's kind of like the type of gamers we are we tend to like like the similar things that they like um so i think that like reading those reviews it was it was, gave us some some direction we wanted to go in but there was ultimately it was more like by the time we finished it like we already knew what was wrong with it and um, yeah, it didn't really come as a surprise to us yeah the, the it was more the controversy that came as a surprise to us than like people thinking it wasn't good yeah, it was more that you're, uh, you're a this game is bad and you're bad. Yeah, and, and you're racist and all the other things yeah, that came up. Yeah, and it's like no, yeah. It is... <laughs> yeah, I don't know where. Can't believe, can't believe this game is transphobic. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah the, that, that's what I meant by like you know some of it can be really vicious or you know. I lost you. Oh, oh yeah, we well, lost you. Oh. Also, oh, for, oh, for for people, oh, right. um, for people who are watching the, the the vod that comment you made about transphobia you're she's literally trans yeah yeah hi i'm 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 transgender female and i worked on this game hey Girl. we we paid her to say that yeah <laughs> <laughs> no don't say that work. you didn't pay me to say that digging grave place tea <laughs> yeah. We know that people have a very good sarcasm All right. detection. Yeah, so. I mean, I have to say something that's gonna make yeah. people. Yeah, you gotta say right. something that people can take out of context. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, thank you. Yeah, we need all the controversy. All right, six, six, six. Thank you for coming on, Polly. Uh, no problem. Yeah. No Feel free right. to hang out six, six, in the get cord. All of you people that are yes, in please, here yeah. in the calls. Definitely. We do. We do, and we do have a lot of questions, so I'll definitely have you know a channel for people to be able to ask, and then others can reply over time. Uh, in case we don't get through all of these. Although, next person uh, to be brought on. The Deltarune Demon. You have been invited to speak. Yay. That's a nice oh. name. No Is well. it? I, I'm Welcome the Deltarune the Demon. I only have one question. What's up? Uh, is Alex going to be able to do like martial arts? Since he's a black belt. Is he? Is he a black belt? Yeah, that was like one of the interactables. Are you sure you just didn't buy that off of eBay? Uh, <laughs> the black belt Wait. to us was always the the joke of why he was able to fight. Like that's why we did oh. it. Like the joke was like, oh, it's in, and you, he the reason he can fight is because he took martial arts as a kid. Because like getting a black belt super easy. Like it, it, they'll give it to every seven year old whose parents pay five hundred dollars a month. For like mm-hmm. for two years yeah, to cry. Not school. to disrespect anybody's you black age, belt. You never got the yellow belt. Okay, but no. All right, <laughs> so... All right bye. All right. Bye. Thank you for coming on. Probably best question so far. Yeah, that's, that's a good, good question. Pretty basic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next. Let's see. Uh, number one PS Vita fan. Uh, oh, yeah. Now that's the username. What's that? <laughs> hey, uh, hey, I'm Sammy. Uh, nice Sammy. to meet you all. Hey. Um, like the girl in the elevator? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, what my friends kept making that joke when I was showing them Yeek. Uh, they <laughs> they all made that same joke. I and... apologize. Just so no, you know, it's okay. No, uh... not original. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, my question is, um. How difficult was it to like change the battle system because it looked pretty much like like you know like mini game centric and now it looks not as much mini game centric as like more of like you pick it like Final Fantasy and all that stuff all right, so and basically... will mini games like appear again? Um, no, probably not. Yeah, no, mini games are gone. It's yeah, all about in the bleeding. battle. Twenty 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 two is all about intravenous 
and bleeding out. That's yeah, that's the yeah. theme. Um, I will say, Ooh, it nice. prob- I think it went like this. Like, um, I was like, "Ooh, all this new content's really good." You would be really crazy, is if we did a new battle mode. But no, we couldn't do that. No, we, we couldn't possibly that make a new insane. battle mode. Yeah, that, that would, would be, be so crazy. much work. And then slowly we talked ourselves. Yeah, we talked into ourselves it. into yeah, it. Yeah. We just had to like hype ourselves up, and just like. Grab. And we had to commit to like, well, okay, well, if we wanted a new battle mode, what are the things that we want to fix? And first yeah. one was loading times. We, there couldn't be load times at all. There could be like maybe like a couple frames. Uh, so like yeah. that was what. Um, yeah, it's a. The entire idea was let's have a really fast, cool battle mode yeah. that we would like to play yeah. that doesn't have load times. And the visuals are more like what we wanted to do the battle mode like originally. So like the the, the bright colors and the sort of um, almost like a Wachowski Speed Racer uh, meets JoJo meets um, like 1970s um, things where they have like uh, the semi-transparent fades yeah, between yeah. characters. Yeah, yeah, the superimposed characters. Yeah. I would say that it was a crazy, reckless decision that has turned out great. Yeah, it, so. we basically were like, Hell well, yeah. let's see if this works, and it and it, it, it came out pretty yeah, good. So. It was a big gamble, though, because it it's a pretty big time sink. Yeah. yeah it looks uh, really good, and I can't wait to show my friends off uh, well, this thank game. You. Thanks. Hell yeah. Man. Thanks for the question. Yes, all right. Yeah. As taken uh... back when they said, tell all your friends. <laughs> next 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 i'll try to get in some newer members uh indigo kid you have been invited to speak hey hello hey hello. Um, yeah i got two questions what's up um, first question is what other parts of the games were inspired by your dreams because i remember in the stream you were talking about that guy recording alex that was inspired by a dream of yours so i was wondering what other parts of the game were inspired by your dreams a lot of it a lot of it yeah, yeah the soul survivors are um based on uh like sleep paralysis demons which would often be like in my like right before my dream and brian would dream about them and that's kind of like the idea and uh, so that um let's meet in a dream is a reference to the fact that a lot of the ideas came from the dream and then i saw the phrase again as the short as like a short story collection that uh itoi and haruki mirakami wrote in japanese and then I started thinking about my dreams more, and Brian and I started every day. We would say like, "Did you have an interesting dream last yeah, night?" Yeah, I, mean, I would start writing mine down. And, yeah. Uh, so I, I, a lot of the visuals do. Like Alex um, in the room with all of the windows uh, came from a dream back in like whatever day um, Interstellar came out. I had that dream, and then I saw in Interstellar like the person like climbing through like the uh, the bookshelves, and I was like, "Oh, that's kind of like the window thing," and it meant the same thing in my dream. And uh, we had made it that day, then we saw Interstellar, and then I had a dream about the window scene again, and I said to Brian, like, I think we gotta put that back into the game, and um, we made it more central. So a lot, tons of things, a lot of I'm visuals. I'm so glad you guys yeah. are being able to do the dream sequences properly now. Well, my dreams are not like Alex's dreams. That's like a whole other <laughs> thing. That's like a whole trying to like portray Alex, like. Right, uh, but uh, yeah, my dreams are a lot more um, upbeat. I think. Yeah. Okay, for my second question, I was wondering why like the battle system was like designed around blood specifically. Is there any like story reason, or you just thought it was just cool? Um, there's a story reason. Uh, I don't know which came first though. I think the gameplay might have come first. I think the gameplay came ended first. Ended up becoming a story reason as yeah. well. I mean, we okay. had had the intravenous concept for a while. Like it was gonna like that's always played into it. And then when we had the the bleed thing, we were like, well, we can play this imagery up more, and yeah. so it kind of informed back it was like a bit of both. Okay, all right, thank you. Cool, thank you. All right, uh, bro, goat, you have been invited to the stage. Yo, Damn, what that up, was bro fast. Goat? Hey man. Hey, cool hello. Thank you for having me. Of course. Okay, so I've actually got uh, three questions, if that's okay. I'll try to make it Let's away. try. Yeah, try to fit them into one. Speed yeah. run, let's go. Okay, yeah, speak fast. Speak, speak, so speak, speak to... fast. So first one is, how long did the development of 1.5 take between the time span of 1.25? It, it, like the, the, the day five. after, the day after. Since whenever oh, that crazy. came out to now is how long it's taken. That's when we started it. Crazy. Okay, the next one is... is um. What inspiration have you taken from games maybe like Earthbound or possibly any other indie titles? 
Okay, well, I think uh, Yumi, Nikki, and Off, uh, we took a lot of inspiration from when we first started making Y2K, and then it kind of became its own, a little bit more of its own thing. Um, and then in other indie games, I think... Um, uh, what was the first part of the question? Because it was kind of like a two thing indie game. Uh, or... What was like maybe like was there any inspiration from Earthbound? Like oh, Earth... helped... okay. Well, so it's actually about it's about Earthbound fans. Like that's like what it's about. Yeah, I mean it's also inspired by Earthbound. Yeah, like, yeah but it, whatever you the do, the angle a... that we took it from yeah. is the Earthbound fan. Yeah, like if you do an RPG that's set in modern times, like you're probably going to remind people of either Earthbound or Persona, depending on the direction. Right. Yeah, and we were we were aware of that making it, so um, I think uh, that's kind of where some of the, like, so the whole idea of Y two K originally started with what if someone had actually what if Mother sixty four had come out. And what if there was a mother game on the GameCube? We were playing Super Smash Brothers Melee, and we would we would always love pausing the own it stage and looking around it. And the idea to make Y2K came from imagining a bigger game with environments like that. We didn't get to do environments like that in the end, um, but that was like the initial idea. Yeah, it was like a spark for you. Yeah, that's I, that was like the first thing. So uh, that's one way that we were inspired by it. I think. Nice, very interesting. And then, last one, hopefully this hasn't been asked, but how or what prompted uh, to get Toby Fox to make a track for this game? Uh, I met Toby Fox at Camp Fangamer, and we played each other's demos, and he was very nice, and I 20, said... Uh, was that 2015, right? Yeah, Camp yeah. Fangamer 2015. Yeah, so I, I wish said... I, had, I wish I had gone. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, so I asked him to do it there after he played the demo. And uh, he played through um, basically the 1.0 is equivalent of everything we just showed you. Was right, the which demo. looked nothing like which that. Which looked nothing <laughs> like that. And it looked nothing like 1.0. It was because yeah, Frankton, Frankton was yeah, different. Yeah, Frankton was and, different. And yeah, yeah. Lots of things were different. So um, we, we had breakfast the next day, and I asked him, and he said yes. And then. Um, couple like a year went by and i messaged him about it and he said yeah i'll still do that and then i gave him midi files uh based on the themes and he used the 6-8 battle theme for the opening and then he used the ascension motif for the climax and then he did his own thing in between so that's how that track came about very cool all right well that's all i had thank you all cool. Cool. thank you thanks for yeah. your questions to pivot from that question a little bit uh you mentioned that you were there was a different build that he played back then and i know you would mentioned offhandedly that you might want to do videos talking about the different builds and like the development of y2k is it still something you guys want to do no i don't think so i think i have a i think i have a better idea all right yeah. sounds yeah. good yeah let's stick all right uh honk you've been invited to the stage Yo, what up? Hey. What's up? Uh, a block. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have one question. Okay. Uh, I was wondering. I noticed that there was like some remixed music in the in what you showed today. Uh, I was wondering, uh, would you be releasing any of that stuff as like singles or something later down the line? Uh, do you mean from before the the stream started? N no, I mean like during the gameplay. There was like uh, songs that I noticed sounded different. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, my plan was to just put those out when the game soundtrack came out. Um, oh, all right. I don't. Uh, I mean, I, I could. I could put the st all the music from what we showed up. Like, I could make. I could put that on Spotify and stuff. Like. Um, yeah, that would be cool. If that's something people are interested in, I can do that. I, I can. I'll, I'll make a note to do that. So I'll, I'll try and get it out this month. Everything that's from like the first chapter of the game. That's a good idea. Yeah. And I, I think. All right. Cool. I, instead, thank you. All, All right, right. Uh, I'm going to go. Cool, cool, cool. See you on. Thanks for the Bye. question. Yeah. All right. Uh, Marshall, you have been invited to speak. Hey, Marshall. Damn, that was fast. You guys are fucking quick. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, hey, what's up? So I wanted to ask about the intro sequence to the game, where originally Alex just arrives in Frankton. Instead, you guys opted to do a cinematic uh, showcasing like the different characters and whatnot. 
And there's a lot of imagery in there that was just making my brain fire constantly. Because, like, mm. you know, I'm I'm familiar with a lot of uh, lore stuff related to Yik. Good. But I was as I was watching it, I was thinking to myself, how would a new player react to seeing all this stuff? And so I wanted to ask, what is y'all's artistic intention with starting the game off with that cinematic? I love that question. Uh, okay, well... One, we wanted to make an opening cutscene to the game because opening cutscenes are really cool. And, like, cutscenes that introduce you to all the characters are, like, a staple of RPGs, like Tales of Symphonia and um, actually the Tales series in general. And then we were thinking, well, what if we made the sequence somewhere between, like, an anime thing that shows all the characters? Uh, then we were like, well, what if it introduced all the characters? And what if we sort of set up where everyone is on April 4th? Um... Ooh, and sort of that's interesting. Like, yeah, so it's kind of... It's to foreshadow and to give context. So when you meet a character, you've already been introduced to the, to them in whatever predicament you saw them originally in the opening cutscene. And it kind of yeah. gives you, like, a key. I do expect most of that will fly over people's heads, and that's yeah. fine, because they just have to absorb, like, the feeling of it. Yeah. And they'll get it later. And if they want, they can play the game again, and they right. go, oh. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. It, we yeah. actually did everything with the idea that it would be someone playing it for the first time. So, like, we know, like, there's, like, a lot of cryptic stuff or a lot of not-so-cryptic stuff that'll make sense if you've played the game before and you're familiar with the lore. Uh, but the whole point really is to just make, like, the experience start to finish in a vacuum very good. Yeah. And also that... not bore new, like, players who are playing again yeah, to see yeah. the new stuff. Yeah. Alright, cool. And also, just side note, that Michael cutscene that you guys showed today has me really excited, and I can't wait to see where that stuff goes. Awesome. That's great. Awesome. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank I you. think cool. people are going to like where it goes. Yeah. yeah. So Michael has a whole arc now, and Claudio and Chandra have a whole arc now, and All Asuka right. has um, a whole arc. Let's Possibly open more. the f gates of hell, Demon Jazz. You have been invited to speak. No. Wait. The boy. Actually, hold on. It didn't no. let me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Discord. My fucking Discord froze up when I tried. Hey, DJ. Hey, what up? Hey, Yo, what up? What up, game? I was just wondering, uh, you said, I know you said before that we won't be getting a whole lot of new Alex content in the update, but, like, what content are we going to get, like, character-wise? Like, percentage, you think? For, for, for Alex? Uh, no, for the other characters. Like, uh, how much is the new content, like, uh, is going to be for the different characters? It's very hefty, like... It's. I would say almost all the new content is for the new characters, besides uh, the new battle mode and the remade cutscenes. Like everything that's new and added to the game. Um, there's stuff that's added to the game to to inform Alex's story because Alex is connected to all of it. But uh, stuff that like purely focuses on them as characters is pretty substantial. I think. I think it's like um, and it's all well animated. Like well, to the best of our ability. Um, I don't want anyone to think I think our game's well animated. I'm not allowed to think. <laughs> so not allowed to think of that. Um, uh, yeah. But yeah, I was wondering, like, uh, what but character so do you think it uh, will focus on the most in this update? I I, I don't know. Can, like, yeah, that's really impossible to answer. That's really hard to answer. But it, oh. uh, Hellcry, what do you think? You've played it. Oh, I mean, I think it does a good job of kind of characterizing you know, or giving. So here's the thing. A lot of the characters had this depth to begin with. And some characters had more story than others to begin with. But it was kind of obscured. And now it's kind of put a little bit more to the forefront, given a little bit more attention. And one character does get favored quite a bit. But it's not because uh of any other thing like they're they're more preferred or anything it's kind of that character is doing something oh, and yes. i don't want to say who but you might already have an idea if you were paying attention to the stream so, okay so like one thing i'll say is I, I i completely agreed with everyone who was like oh there needed to be more claudio and chandra and michael and you know vela could have used a bit more and then rory could have been more fleshed out and like i i get it i 100 percent agree with you when i wrote the game the whole thing was about Alex's soul being this this physical game and him being a sort of representation of the Essentia and the Essentia is like this plastic body he makes for himself to exist in and that is the cartridge and there's like a whole like meta concept to it 
And the whole idea was everything was filtered through Alex, filtered then with another level of the Essentia on top of it, and then Alex. And there was like supposed to be this particular view of all the characters that the game was supposed to give you. So in order to fully know Michael, you had to read Onism and then realize that like Onism was the thing that was in some way filtered by Michael because Michael made Onism and see what that tells you about the character. And it was like this whole postmodern thing that pretty experimental. I don't know what I was on, but it was sounded cool at the time. Uh, and now, like, I've got better ways to service that and to sort of, like, do it visually and do it, like, with exciting story stuff. And Because now we can make cutscenes, whereas before we couldn't. Yeah. It's the first time we've done yeah, it. before, like, we were, like, pulling cutscenes out of ourselves. Yeah, yeah. And it hurt every time. Exactly. And now yeah. it's easier. So I hope that answers the question. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember what it was. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, DJ, I'm now going to move you back to the audience. Thank Yo. you. Yo. Thank you, Demon Tess. Love you. Later. All right. Uh, Lango, Langoblian? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. You've been invited to speak. Hey. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, How's it going? Uh, thank you very much. I'm uh, quite. I'm quite a big fan of Rory. Uh, <laughs> nice. Anyways, I appreciate uh, the work that you guys have been putting into the game. Uh, me and my friends have been. Uh, playing through it within the past couple weeks, and we've really been enjoying it. Okay. Um, and I, I just wanted to ask, like, one quick question. So, uh, in early 2016, it, they uh, limited run games said that they were going to print physical copies of the game, and that never really came to fruition. Um, I don't know if it's because of the reception of the game or anything like that, but I, I know that you guys are currently selling the vinyl through a limited run so you still have some kind of business partnership with them uh is it possible that once uh iv comes out uh the game could possibly come out to print uh physical copies okay so yeah it's coming out we're making physicals they're gonna be come out for iv uh it's just we 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 knew we were gonna patch the game in some way when it came out but like it we just like the thing is limited run doesn't put your game out unless it's the finished version so like if you plan on updating the game at all you can't do a limited run that's why it happens right. which makes total end. sense makes you total don't sense. want like yeah it's the final copy you it's don't like want a, the worst version of the yeah. game immortalized in plastic so that's the reason it hasn't come out yet is because we knew you know we knew since we started 1.25 that we were going to do another update after 1.25 and this that was going to be the version for limited run um yeah so that's it all right, yeah, sounds fantastic. I'll uh, I'll definitely be picking up a copy then. Thank you. Awesome. All right, uh, appreciate being on. Uh, you guys have a great rest of the stream. I'll be enjoying it. Thanks. Thanks. Have a good day. All right. Hellcrow, I'm gonna fucking get you. All right. Um, <laughs> next, uh, 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 Redbin, you've been invited to the stage. Hey. Yo, how's it going? What's up? Hey. Hey. Wait, nice are they actually on pick. here? Well, oh shit, yeah. yeah, they are. Okay. What's going on? Uh, nothing much. Uh, I got a question. Mm -hmm. Me, me, and my friend, we've always like wondered, like, with the arcade, if there was e like ever gonna be planned to like add like mini games or something, because I always just thought it was a little bit empty, kind of feeling. Yeah, it is. There, it is empty feeling. Um, I guess the thing is, like, when you're making a game, you kind of have to figure out, like. And it's just two people like how much are you going to make a game and then make a bunch of smaller games to put in the game and like how much should you let that take away from so like we kind of want to do some stuff with the arcade but like we're already making a new battle yeah, mode like we're on the like yeah I'm, like, I'm very close it could happen it could not yeah happen. it's a lot <laughs> yeah it yeah. has to come out eventually though that's the only thing yeah, but we'll see it might happen yeah oh okay but we agree that, that was that, pretty good. Of course. Of yeah. course it's better if it it'd has... Be be it'd be much cooler if it had yeah, arcade of games. And if it does, it's going to cost 25 cents to play. In yeah, you're going to have to pay so... for it in-game. Yeah. It's not <laughs> going to be, be DLC. Cool. I just mean with the currency. Yeah, yeah, with the game's currency. Yeah, it'll lose 25 cents. Okay, well, that answers my question. But thanks for putting me on. Thanks. All right, sick. Thank you. Thank you for coming by. Uh, uh, Salty Mint, you've been invited to speak. Nope, actually, sorry, not you. You <laughs> you were on before, my bad. Uh, let's get some newer people. Bunny, you have been invited to speak, and then Salty, I'll get you after this. Hey, Bunny, what's up? How's it going, Bunny? Uh, 
Uh, hello. Wait, hello. sorry. Oh. Give me a second. I need to change my audio output because Discord's really evil. Sure. Um, hello. Hi. So, okay. I, I want to apologize. I think you've seen this a lot in the um, Twitch chat. Uh, but I need to ask this very important question or I can't sleep. Okay, so, you know, I, I feel like a lot of... I feel like a lot of uh, Yeek fans, we, we get lonely, right? But I think if you created an Alex body pillow, that no. could fix all, all the problems. Oh my god. Mm. No. Because, um... I think I think if we I think if we had an Alex body pillow, it would it would just be great. Like I could just play Yeek and have Alex by me. It would be great. I, I think everyone can agree that having an Alex body pillow, you know, <laughs> don't don't I'll don't let, go down. I'll let this one drag on. Jennifer, if you're listening, nah, but... and Jennifer when she listens, <laughs> uh, look into making an Alex body pillow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to make that happen. I mean, we're, yeah, so we're not going to sell a pillow. We're going to sell a pillowcase, and you're going to have you right. right. It'll be discreet. Yeah, like, it'll probably uh, come in a little yeah. envelope. But like, uh, yeah, we could yeah. do that. That sounds funny. I don't know. I don't know why, oh, why, why Cheryl, yes. Cheryl saying no, no way it's making money from merch. Happened. I don't know why Cheryl yes, wants to do Come on, got to make it's... his Alex body pillow merch. God. Yeah. You got to make sure that the envelope is not discreet. Like specifically no, lays yeah, out what it is and yeah. like yeah. what yeah, kind of degenerate you are for buying box. an Alex. Like in the yeah. sequence. That's the question. Should he? Be... I don't want to see crossed here. Should he be <laughs> on the back side? He looks like the dream sequence. On the other side, he's wearing a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so like one for one for yeah. afternoon snuggles and one I for evening. Know. All right. Uh, no, wait, 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 I'd also love it. it. Uh, like if he, if he was doing like the kissy face on one of the sides, that would also that, be that very cool. Yeah, I think it's something to think about. But think. These are great ideas. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll have our our yeah. merchandising person Thanks work on for it. The question. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, the body pillow. You know that was oh. that was a very good question. As long as he's wearing all the all bell the bell nice shirt, I've ever said yeah, about just... me, I take them all back. Fuck all of I've... you. I hate them. Do I hate if them? anything, I'm just worried that I've enabled something horrid. But you probably have. But... All right, <laughs> Nathan Blaze, you've been invited to speak. Pillow. Please don't ask us about a fucking body pillow. No body pillows. Don't worry, don't worry, nobody. We've already got it confirmed. What's, what's your question? Reactions from the fans, I think. Said nobody pillows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. All right, uh, my question was about a little bit about the development of IV. So, was there anything, like any mechanics or like any areas or anything that you wanted to add but decided to drop just for the sake of the project? No, I don't believe so. No. Uh, we had a was when we knew we wanted to do it. We had a really clear idea of the the end and like what it should be, and then like how it could be done. So like it was a really clear thing of of what it of like IV had to be all these other components of like uh, the battle system, the cutscenes, the you know. When you play it, you're gonna go, oh, I see it. it it's all like another layer on top. It's like 1.0 is like. Well, I don't want to use that metaphor, so you'll say, yeah. All right. Well, thank you for inviting me up. I will politely move back. Thank, well, thank you. you. All right. Thank you for coming. Nice icon. Uh. Oh, brother. Okay. Hey. You. Oh, wait. Shit. No. Sorry. Salty. I forgot. I almost forgot. You've been invited to speak. I put you down for someone newer. Hello. Man's trying to sound the truth over here. He's kicking me out like multiple times. <laughs> yeah. No. I wasn't gonna do that again. Welcome. <laughs> You're good, you're good. Um, I, I, I think, like, the main question I want to ask, and if there's time, then I'll ask, like, a second small one. Um, but for me, it was going through the game, I noticed that there was a big issue in terms of the game's um, economy, in terms of, you know, just having, like, uh, a lot, a lot of money. Um, and I was wondering if there was going to be, like, any balancing added to that along with the, uh, the new battle uh, system. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. There will be. All right, awesome. I got, I got. I guess I have time for the second question. Yes. Um, and I yeah, thought it, that was just a, a comment on how Alex, as a character or as a person, doesn't really know. I mean, it is, but is that good gameplay? And like, I and think true. it's probably. Yeah, we probably, need to find a balance. Yeah, between, like, like yeah. There, there has to be some concessions made for fun. That's a good point. And I suppose this is just like a general question, but how do y'all think is the best way 
to play Y two K? Uh, well, I, I think just playing IV. If you've never played it before, play it that play it that way. If you have played it, play IV. It's like the best way to do it. Yeah, I would say fresh new save friends. file, everything. Start yeah, so start from the beginning. Right. Like everyone who like just. Play the game yeah, from the beginning. Yeah, because at first we're like, oh, yeah. we can make it compatible with no, the save play, files. Just play from the it, beginning. Yeah, it, it's it's a pr yeah. it's a very it's just just yeah, there's it, a please. lot of new stuff to see. It's gonna yeah. feel like a new game. Yeah. Oh yeah, so I'm Andrew, definitely excited Andrew, to play through it again. Yeah. And it's Andrew the reason, Brian. Yeah. Then would you say it is worthwhile to play 1.25 if you have not played the game yet, or would you prefer people waited for 1.5? I, mm. I'm not a com like I'm not like a completionist. Like I don't think you have to see like everything in a series. Like, yeah, I, I, I say just not, play it. It's not like it's designed. You have to have seen before so yeah. you can understand after. No, just play the new one. Just play the new yeah. one. Yeah, it, it, I don't, it's I, I it's don't... more like a second like a second or third edition of a book rather than like a volume. So like right. the way the way that I kind of think about it is like, I mean I think Fortnite kind of made what how live and updated a game can be pretty radical and there's like kind of mm -hmm. no reason you can't do something like that to a single player game like obviously we're not saying y2k is a live game it's not it's just this one update but like it's kind of in the spirit of of that and like it's a good idea to just accept that if you haven't beaten it yet you have like a couple months beat it and then you'll have mm. like a window that you could still beat it that will announce it um but you're gonna have to start months. from the beginning, and I'm sorry. Months, he says. Yeah. Yo, I so. have to do something in real life. Uh, I'll see y'all later. It's later. See you later. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited to, something in real life. I'm excited to play life. Y2K Battle Royale with my Y2K body pillow. Thank yeah. you, everyone, for your time. <laughs> no. It looks great so far. No, there will be no body pillow. I love my time. There will I... be a body pillow. <laughs> there will be no body pillow. Every time you say this, and good night. If sure. we don't, Thanks. if there aren't official body pillows, people will make their own. All right. Sure. Brother, you've been invited to speak. Every time you say there's not going to be a body pillow, another body pillow appears. Hmm. Yeah. It's a fucking Look, SCP. All I'm saying is, if I get paid to do one. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> you guys right, helped me out a lot uh, with, like, actually showing my art. This is, like, a general question for, for everyone else. Like, like, a lot of people seem to have trouble, like, not only finishing their art but actually like showing it to other people and i kind of want to know like your take in all of this especially since you guys have faced like heavy criticism and like how you get over it and actually show your stuff to other people uh i would say that like what happened to us doesn't usually happen when you show someone your art like that's like but th that's what everyone's afraid of yeah that's what they're afraid of yeah so like the reason you don't show your art is because you're afraid yeah, what you happened to our in the art face like us. is going to happen yeah. to you. And that's like the whole point of the... Okay, so like I was talking about it before. There's like a there's like a, a character in your head that you like engage with, and it's like the imaginary critic. And every time you don't paint something or draw something or show it to someone, it's because you're afraid that they're going to hate it the way that the imaginary critic in your head hates it. And uh, you got to kill that guy. Yeah. I would say that, like, um, showing your work is, like, one of the best ways to get better. I mean, yeah, because, so. first of all, you just have to be comfortable with showing your work because art is meant to... Yeah, like, probably... art has to be seen and it has to yeah. be touched and has to be You don't want to be, like, the weirdo who, like, died and then they find, like, a bunch of art and, like, oh, what was wrong with this guy? Oh, well, let's make an exhibition. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, and that's, 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 that's not sad. good. That's yeah. yeah that You're was lucky probably... if they make an exhibition, honestly. Yeah. Hang out. Yeah, I just, uh, you guys have helped me so much through all of this. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Before we bring the next person in, um, I would like to say something. Is it about body pillows? It's not about <laughs> fucking body pillows. Okay, Jesus. cool. Man, right, Cheryl, you're question. really going up. <laughs> no, go ahead, yeah, Cheryl. It's, 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 it's getting to be a bit much. Let's turn it down. This, this whole, this whole, like, this whole, like, tangent where I talk about how much this game means to me. But you know what? That that isn't happening anymore. My mistake was thinking that y'all would stop talking about body pillows the second I get up here and start speaking. But no, we're going back on the body pillows. I see we're Are you gonna DMCA Andrew to take your music out of the game if they release body pillows? I don't think that's how that works. I'm pretty sure we. Yeah, it's very much not how that works. <laughs> that works. They, own, yeah. they own the full rights to, to the music I make for you, and I'm fine with that. So what I'm hearing is the game means something to you, and I like that. Yeah, Thank that's you. that's cool. I couldn't. Yeah. I don't. I couldn't sit here on camera and have someone say anything sappy. So uh, we. I, I, 
consider it sad. I, I adore uh, Yik, a post modern RPG. I adore Yik 1.5. I adore everything about this game. Even the things that people don't like about this game, I've come to like about this game. I've had a very weird history with Yik. I was also one of the people that started out by uh, generally, you know, being one of those 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 hip online memers. It's like, oh, look at this this funny bad game with self insert and the transphobic and the all right and uh, real person death and all of that. Um, and it did take me a while to sort of come around on that. Uh, but ultimately, I'm glad I did because uh, the chances I've gotten working on this game, the connections I've made working on this game, even just being a fan of this game, have pretty much changed the way I like go about my daily life. Like, I, I cannot understate or overstate or whatever you want to say. I cannot like put into words how much Yik has impacted me. And I mean that entirely unironically. I mean that entirely unironically. When I see people seeing saying things like, you know, one of the best games ever made or like like ironically goofing around, I'm just like, Yeah, you can you can joke about that, but like it has made that difference for some people. Uh and I, at the very least I know it's made that difference for me. And I wanna thank Andrew and Brian for, for giving me this chance to sort of I guess change the kind of person I want to be and to get a better expectation of, of who I want to be and what I want to do and uh, this wouldn't have this wouldn't have happened without Yuka Postmodern RPG uh, and I'm really happy I get to help uh, create such a such a personally impacting project for me so uh, that's pretty much all I want to say I have to head out but I want to get that off my chest before I go thank you guys for having me sure, cool. okay. thank you Bye, thanks Cheryl. for uh, thanks for stopping by thank on the screen you. You did that really well. I'm happy you memorized the script. <laughs> no. <laughs> I no, I didn't remember that from, from, from the That was a script. That was a script. You know what? No, I've taken it all back. I've taken it all back. You can't so we can it. move forward with the body pillows? Back, I had a response to the joke. I <laughs> if you're redacting your emotionally. statement, we can move forward with the body pillows? Yes. Well, you know I'm, glad, I'm glad. If, it makes, if Thank it, you. it makes you guys happy, then do the fucking body pillows. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you, you for Cheryl. giving your permission. Yeah, thank you for your approval. That's yeah. the key well, factor. You have, you I'm have happy the to have your blessing of approval here. Do the right. body pillows. That means well, sure is there someone like... who didn't? Uh... You heard it here first, folks. Um, that was Just... great. Well, thank yeah. you. you keep, All you right. Keep the body pillows like a couple like meters away from my music in this game, please. Thank you. I mean, they're not going to be in the game. Yeah, they're going to be like a product to buy. We're going to put like one of those like squeezable music. Boxes. I was gonna say they won't have that, but yeah, they're just yeah. cases. But yeah, I just All don't think anyone would make You have the that. power, you know. If you want to make your dreams a reality, you got to be the one to make the make your dreams a reality. I'm gonna burn your music to CD Whoa. and shove it in my p body pillow. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Wait. Thank you, Cheryl. Yeah. Bye, Cheryl. Wow. Um, wow. All right. Good. That was Oops. a lot. That was great. Uh, okay. Do we have time for more people? Uh, yeah, yeah, we could do a little bit more. I guess one thing I just want to say, uh, thank you, Cheryl, for... I know you're not here, which is why I, I'm, I got rid of you, so I could say this. Um, <laughs> I'm glad that you hated the game and then liked the game ironically and then unironically liked it and then loved it and all that stuff. That's great. I'm happy. That's really cool. Yeah. As long as you're thinking about it or talking about it and engaging with it, if you're ironic or unironic, at the end of the day, you're just keeping the thing alive and that's cool and uh you can only ask for participation from people you can't ask them to love it and you can't ask them to engage with yeah. it the way that you want them to which is why you have to make an update and force them to like it exactly so. gotta do uh so this the trickaroo okay next All question right. uh next person lieutenant confetti you've been invited to speak welcome sir lieutenant hey hello How's yo what's up I'm saluting you. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So basically, these are two mini questions that are sort of the same. Okay. Cool. So, sure. uh, do you think the Yeek IV drip update will like sort of change the perspective of people who like sort of like mock the game and joke it and joke it? It's in a sense where it's like, haha, funny bad RPG. Do you think it's going to sort of change their perspective once they see like the changes that are added? It's unknowable. Yeah. Like, first of all, if they see it, if they care, um, yeah, I, yeah the, who knows? My honest guess is the people who are going to see it and engage with it are probably not going to be the people who that were talking about it on 
message boards and YouTube in 2019. Yeah. I, I think it's going to, I mean, maybe some of those people will comment on it, but like I, the point of it, it really is so far removed from, yeah. from that. That being you said, I think it's a nice update and I think you'd be really hard pressed not to have fun with it. But yeah, I think, I think know. if you like the game already or if the game's interesting to you, you're going to think it's really yeah, like cool. Like if there was something about it that you liked, it's yeah. definitely not worse. But, <laughs> but like if you have a, a fundamental flaw, like, like fundamental issue with like the game's message or the characters or the things that it it's blunt about um it's not is that that won't yeah. change it's, it's not like a, a retcon or anything so yeah i guess a good way a good question related to that would be like obviously you want everybody to enjoy the game and have fun you want people to like the game but do course, you care right. if somebody who disliked it suddenly changes their opinion or not i mean i think that'd be cool but i'm not gonna lose I, sleep it won't, if they yeah don't. it's not gonna hurt my feelings yeah you know, you know i if mean if you don't like it you don't like it's, it it's like i'm gonna be i'm gonna tell you the secret okay this is the thing that you've been waiting for that doesn't get rid of the imaginary critic if your yeah. critics like your stuff it actually makes the imaginary critic worse if you release something and nobody likes it and you get bad reviews, as long as you can keep making money doing it, that's the ideal path. Because then eventually people, you'll find an audience, or you don't, but as long as you got making a living and you get to do the thing you like, that's the point. The imaginary critic is wrong. Now we have to make the imaginary critic an enemy. And yeah. Oh, no, you can't kill a critic in a game. That'd be really bad optics. Yeah, it's, yeah, no, yeah no, no, I'm not going to do that. that. Scratch that. Okay, next question. All right. Uh, and is that your question, Confetti? Uh, just. Oh, sorry. Uh, since uh, just the other question I had was like, since like you put so much work into like the IV updates, do you think you'll be increasing the price of the game for like, I suppose after the update, or it will be staying the same at twenty? I guess I don't see a reason to increase it. Um, it was like already made. All the money we wanted it to make so like the update is kind of just like a practice for our next project so yeah i hope i hope so yeah. hope it, and the it, update it, itself is free it's free but I, i'm sorry that. so let, let me let me say what, well, i'm sorry i didn't finish answering the question i don't see any reason to increase the price because it's for people who already have it it's not to drive sales further yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I see. It's just because, like, you know, you're putting like so much work into it. It's not like. You, yeah, but I suppose yeah, I like... think raising the price would just make the barrier of entry harder into it when there's already like all this resistance to the game and like the meme of it is is yeah rough. I, I, I just yeah, it probably wouldn't go over very yeah, well if I, you just start raising prices. Yeah, I don't think there's a need. No, nah, I don't think we will. I don't see a point. Ga a lot of gamers don't have money anyway because most gamers are kids. So uh, yeah. no reason to make it such a huge barrier. That being said, this is an M-rated game. So. Yes, most 18-year-old <laughs> kids. Yeah. yeah, but there's also a bunch of 16-year-olds that keep playing. Uh, well, I know nothing, I nothing. about it. Yeah. That's between them and the ESRB. Yeah, okay, True. next question. All right, next question. Oh, actually, uh, before we get to the next question, uh, Andrew, I was alerted by Girl at the Piano that you had a friend, Perul, who was a commentator on stream, right? Yes. Okay, I will go ahead and bring them onto the stage to Excellent. stay. Brendan. Perul, you've been invited to speak. Welcome. Hey. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go get a drink because that's I can. I, we can go for like another twenty minutes, but I, I just need to drink liquid. Okay. All right. No worries. Right, Brian, well, I will stay here while you drink liquid. Brian's cannon while I'm gone. Yeah. And when I'm back, you should have gotten an IV. Yeah. But True. now he has to drink water like an idiot. All right, so Andrew's out for water. Brian's still here. We can still I take questions. Question. Brian, actually. Um, yeah. Brian. Yes. Who is the coolest designed character in this game? Uh, that's a right a, answer. That's hard to say. Is it Chandra? No, I love Chandra, but okay, it's not there. No, he's like, I think he wanted your opinion. Not cool. Ah, uh, yeah, and I wanted your opinion. I don't know if I can answer with my opinion because people haven't seen uh, oh. the character that I would be thinking. All right. Of. Okay. So I'll, I'll allow it. Yeah. Sorry, guys. All right. No okay. Worries. But what about canonically? Like, yeah. Who's canonically the, the coolest looking? Yeah. Oh, who has I the highest the school stat in Yik? I know the answer, Hellcry. Right, <laughs> I mean, it's like Wilfred and Amelia. Yeah. Yeah, could be. All right. 
Uh, I will. Yeah, we can still take questions. Uh. Yeah, it'll be a little special part that Andrew gets to miss out on. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll just take like one or two. Just yeah, yeah. Fun. No, let's try to speed yeah. run them. I've Get a lot of questions. Not... We want Andrew <laughs> to miss this whole thing. Back in the stage is fucking over. <laughs> no, I would never. Uh, here's split Adam. You've been sitting there for a while, and you're new. Uh, you've been invited to speak. Welcome. Um, hi. Hey, hi. Um, I guess I'm kind of new to this. Oh, Andrew's right here. So, so um, if he gets oh, Andrew just got back. So I know, I know. Earlier, you guys mentioned that uh, it's like it's weird seeing YouTubers just kind of like use your image, and it's also what's it? It's also kind of discouraging, at least initially, when you compare your games to like other games, like. When, when you just want to get something done. Uh, I don't get that last yeah, part. Yeah, I don't think you should compare your games to other games. Well, well, well there, there was like something that you had, it was like something you had to avoid. Uh, I'm not sure I understand. Do you understand? Uh, my, my memory could just be Say, uh, wonky. So is it, this is something we said or something you're... Uh, my, I, thought, I thought it was something said on stream, but my memory could be failing okay. me easily. Okay, I, I don't... I, I guess, like, gamers talk about games by saying it's this plus this, which is, like, the Gen X formula for creativity, where they're like, mm -hmm. it's Back to the Future meets Jurassic Park. So, like, every video game is kind of like... a good one. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Every video game is, like, Ocarina of Time meets... Mega Man. Like, I don't know ooh. what the fuck that would be like, but yeah. that would be cool. It'd be Mega Man Legends. Mega Man. It'd be yeah. Mega Man Legends. Exactly. Yeah. Time traveling Mega Man. It's uh, like the yeah. Dark Souls of platformers. Yeah, like they're they're the yeah. Dark Souls of platformers. But it is also another looks great like example. Dark Souls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but so like that is um just like a kind of a reality of of how people talk about things, and I think that it kind of creates an expectation that a game will be like the things that the person says inspired it like everybody there's like this idea of like it's almost like a like the spiritual successor meme where like a game is like a like it's like a really literal version of what if they made another version of paper mario but original uh, ip right and like that's really good and i love those games but well, people like, yeah, tend like to run assume... into like um confusion too because people are like well i don't see the earthbound in this game yeah it's like, well, it's like well it's inspired by that but it doesn't yeah. mean that i'm knocking it off like exactly it's like a right yeah i guess so... that also makes like an expectation for people to like think oh my game isn't as good as this or something like that well it makes it that it makes it that yeah like even if it was better if it's not the same thing and it's what people wanted yeah that it can causes be... confusion yeah like Axiom right, so. Verge is a great example. It's a it's a, it's a, it's a Metroidvania, but it's really like a Metroid fan game, but it's amazing and it's like better than any Metroid game that was had been made at that point. But then it it came up with entirely new weapons, entirely new bosses, things that made it different than Super Metroid. And it was better than Super Metroid. It's like one of the I think it's probably like one of the greatest indie games ever made. Um but then there were people who were like, oh, I expected this to be more like Metroid. And then, like, they do Axiom Verge 2, and it's, like, a big departure from what Axiom Verge 1 was. And it's all because there's, like, kind of like a... And I'm not speaking for the developer's creative process, I don't know. But I think that that expectation that it's going to be Metroid kind of hurts a game that might be better than Metroid. And uh, I think that if games weren't so similar... Maybe we wouldn't compare them so much, and if we didn't compare them so much, maybe they would be less similar, and we'd find yeah, or maybe we have to find a new way of talking about inspiration without people assuming it, it's hard. Yeah. Communication's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> so, and the thing is, like, I I don't know. What do you think of this? What's your opinion? Uh, me. Mhm. Mm well, I don't know. I've just been. <laughs> I've noticed a lot of games going around, like a lot of like more indie games, people are like, oh, this is uh, Earthbound and Yuminiki, or oh, this is, uh, what's it? This is Wario Land and Sonic. Or just, I don't know, it's just kind of weird to me thinking about how some games will get released and not okay, have well, their own, like, or people the... just won't see them as their own thing. So the trick is, and I didn't know this, but now I know it, 
make your game so different that you can't compare it to anything else. Let's see. And Y2K doesn't do that because Y2K is it's a lot like Earthbound because it's set in the modern day. It's a lot like yeah. Persona because it has young people. It's a little bit like Shadow Hearts. I'd say it's it got definitely the... has diverged even further from its... Oh, because now, now yeah. it's its own thing, I think. But it's always going to be attached to the thing we made before. But our next yeah. game, yeah. We'll, we're going to pursue something like that. And that's what you should do. Because if, if people... If you look at mm. Tetris and compare it to The Legend of Zelda and compare The Legend of Zelda to Kirby, and let's pretend those are the only three video games that ever existed. And like those were like the three, and that's what video games were. Those are distinctly different concepts. Yeah. Those are not the mm. same game. But now games are, there's like a base action game or base RPG game, and then things just get layered on top of them. And that's great. That's what genre is. But, like, you don't have to do that. Like, you could just make up a whole new game. And you can think about why games are fun and what you like about RPGs and add that in. And then you can make something that's really yeah. incomparable. No, that's another problem with, like, game genre in general is, like, you start having to make design decisions you don't necessarily mm. want to make. Because well, yeah, because it's like, well, the yeah. people have opinions about... And then... So, like, there's a, the meta opinion about, like, RPG inventories. It's different in every community. Yeah. So, like, people who play Saga games and people who play Earthbound and people who play Final Fantasy. Yeah, or gonna... Morrowind or... Right. Like, yeah, Everyone who plays RPGs different. just has a completely different idea. Hmm. Brendan, are you here? Yes, I am. Can you comment on this? What do you think about this as a non-game developer? Because I like this talk topic. I, um... I'm reinvigorated. <laughs> Oh, nice. I um, I I do think it's it's harmful to think of game genres or just game inspirations as like that A plus B equals my game formula. Um, because when you think about any other genre of art, if someone were to say, "Oh, this is just this is a Picasso with Kirshner colors or something like that," people would just be like, "Oh, that's." You're, that's just a ripoff. You're just ripping oh, off two point. people and one person. Like no one describes artistic genres in that way in any other medium. I love so much that you said this. This makes me jazzed. I have something I want to say about that. It's video really games. That. <laughs> video games are a product of Gen X, really. Like like boomers obviously invented them, or maybe a little bit older. But like the people who grew up on games and like what the idea of games are was at the, the height of commercialization in America. So like, if you watched Ninja Turtles, it wasn't just enough that you had a action figure. You had all the action figures, you had all the posters. And this kind of marketing and like film zeitgeist is what inspired video games. So you already have this version that is so far from caring about being derivative because like film was always something that like pandered to like a oh yeah like how many video games i played that basically started arnold schwarzenegger yeah like uh, yeah. when you play 80s games they're just 80s movies and like they're just they're just inspired by them yeah. so like but that's at the same generation that comes up with oh what if it was uh star wars but it starred a girl <laughs> oh my god it's like yeah. okay yeah maybe but like it shouldn't be like star wars it should be a star wars movie about a girl in the star wars universe no 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 it has no, to be the, the same thing. movie it's the same yeah. movie yeah but again and then it's not the same movie as it's just random fan fiction that that's the problem and that's that's why we have to stop comparing game genres or something yeah <laughs> Yeah, I guess I've been kind of thinking about that a bit because oh. I've been working on my own like small little project and I've was like, oh, is this too similar to that? Or so this advice helped me. Okay, good. I'm glad. Love to hear that. All right. Well, thanks for your time. And sorry if I like sounded weird at the start. No, I appreciate right, yeah. it. Okay. What's so, the, yeah. I think what's funny about that framing of games and like that whole like everything that came from that was video games never had their classical period, their renaissance. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. unlike music and art and sculpture, it doesn't go back that far. It goes back to like the seventies, but not really. It really starts in the eighties. And yeah. um, 
the classical period is like shooting something with an oscilloscope and that's like yeah and like it wasn't an art it wasn't like it was it was always art but it wasn't there was no like video game art world that talked about like the aesthetics of video games and like the meaning behind them it was art in the same way that like you know a movie a movie's art because you participate with it anyway we can go on uh okay I'm going to act without bias. I have a number in my head, 1 through 10. The first person to guess it in IV stream questions will be invited to speak. Damn, Evolution got it. Okay, cool. Shit, that was fast. Everybody guess a 7. Evolution, you've been invited to speak. What up? How did I first try that? Okay, oh, anyways. Fucking no, dude. <laughs> uh, I have like, it's two quick questions. One, did you get any special guest voice actors this time? They're all special. Or like any... Any role, like one-off bosses or some shit? They're all special. Uh, um, um, actually, just, you just wait and see. Yeah. Just wait and see. I can't say yeah. anything. I can't yeah, say I feel like that would be yeah. like a spoiler question. Um, yeah, voice acting, that'll all be part of the bigger yeah. surprise later. Did an- Another question, it's kind of like two of them is together. Uh, did you add any super bosses like most RPGs have? There will be a super boss. Like oh, most really? Most RPGs have, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Like most RPGs uh, have, we're going to have it too. Yeah. And are there more optional bosses? Because I can only think of like two from yeah. the original that were optional. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, There's that's all more, I really wanted to add. A lot more enemies with much cooler designs right. this time around. So I can't, I'll tell you what exists. I, I, I could tell you what one of the optional bosses is. Okay. Okay, so there's the yeah. guy with the camera on the top. If you can manage to somehow get up on top, you can fight something. Yeah. A little troll. Oh, shit, it. really? Yeah. Speed runners. Yeah. So, but, but they're weird, but there are optional things in the game. But, yeah. like, it's not necessarily going to be, like, how you'd find it. Like, you're not going to talk yeah. to an NPC. Oh, you crazy people with your panda tech that yeah, they don't it's, understand. It's more like that. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I was going to mention one more thing, actually, before I go. Uh, I want to personally apologize. When I first got your game, I actually pirated it. I bought it now. But... Oh. Thank I just thought I should it. apologize about that. <laughs> I, I end up join, enjoying the game more than I thought I would. Hell yeah. I forgive you. So, you paid for it so thank you for the game. Thank you for stealing my game. and then like, I paid it, don't worry. I bought it. No, but you first stole it, and then you bought it. But that's yeah. great. Thank you. I'm glad you did that, because this is a good conversation, and I'm happy you played it. I'm just being silly. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Cool. Take care. What a character. We've got some characters here. I love that. What a weird uh, guy. <laughs> Bro Devin, you've been invited to speak. You were just sucking the post this. Yo, Hello. Oh, no, you were just sucking the post. Hello. Hey. Hey. Uh, since the game is going to be radically like changed from literally everything, are you planning on preserving the original version via like a bait like the beta? Like you know how you get to the like the betas of Steam? Do you know? Yeah, yeah we're doing that. Yeah, are you gonna put that in there so yeah. that if anyone wanted to play the original version, if they were curious, like are you able to do that? Yeah, we're doing that. Yeah. All right, thank you. It's just a but... yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't get that. I mean, like, we're gonna do it. I know people care. People care, but like, it's such a weird thing. Like, I can't imagine doing that. Like, even a game. Wait, I just love. in case. Just yeah, in case people want sure. to look back exactly. and say, "Oh, people the, want to, yeah. it's it's It'll like as a sort of a retrospective, just in case." Yeah. If they're doing that, so. Yeah, I just better not see any reviews of it. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's, a, that's like uh, that that would yeah. be what would happen. Someone will review that version. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you. No problem. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. It's to uh, preserve speed running uh, categories. That's oh, why. Yeah, that's oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good speed running. All right. Oh, Mukul H. I don't want anybody to be my world record hey <laughs> moogle h you have been invited to speak hey moogle and good job oh, almost guessing the holy number. shit hey i was just writing oh man i was writing down another question i had related to this. okay All right i'm sort of scattered so forgive me no problem i've got two questions my first is is there anything you can say about your next project and or chroma 4 any little hints or hints or teases you'd like to say uh... Let me think. Well, Chroma 4 is on pause, obviously, while we work on Y2K, because there's only so much of us to go around. Literally just the two of us at our kitchen yeah. table. Yeah. yeah, I get that. Um, we made uh, some pretty good progress on our next project before we also paused that to work on this. Um, 
Uh, I can say that we're doing the the soundtrack with a full orchestra with a like a hundred people. That's and really sick. It's a yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's a it's, yeah. a, it's a it's a spectacle. Uh, it's made in Unreal Engine, so it's not a Unity game this time yeah. around. Yeah, and it looks. If you think if you like the visuals of Y two K, it doesn't look anything like it. Yeah, it looks better. Yeah. It's a Time different kind of a setting. Uh, different, yeah, it's different. But it's a uh, whole other, it's a whole other thing. I think you'd still like it. If you... I think you'd still like it, but it's like a different fashion. Yeah, yeah. Hey, as long as it's good, I'm up for it. Cool. So, uh, my second question is, I'd like to know. So I, back in the day before launch, I got into the game because of your appearance at Camp Fan Gamer. I was, I was very excited for the game, so I was excited to see when you put out the uh, episode prime demo that you had at one of packs and i remember reading somewhere that the content for that demo was made exclusively for the demo and then i played the game and i saw that the the content from the episode prime demo was in the final game so was that was that is am, am i misremembering that or were no, the no, fans changed since then you're correct it was just people didn't like what was in the in that part of the game and people liked episode prime so when we were like remaking the game based on like or like early feedback we, we put it in because you know people liked it and okay. that was true at the time because it meant that it wasn't something that was in the game it really wasn't it was made just for episode prime yeah but it got put in the game because it ended up being one of the better things we had made yeah does that have anything to do with uh mountain town yeah well yeah so basically like there was a different mountain town level and but episode prime doesn't have any doesn't have mountain town in it you just go from alex's house uh to the mountain yeah and uh yeah and why this is my last thing because i just remembered this why were there save points in the episode prime demo when you can't use them oh because they were like i think i'm trying to think uh well I, it's because it kind of, uh, well I, I okay it's because it, it's what the game looks like and it's kind of weird to take them out and i i get like you could just disable them but like it's kind of part of the design, and at the time we were like, oh, yeah, let's it's also leave good to see that there are save points. Yeah, I don't know. It's a just... lot of problems that we had early on is that when we demoed the game, people didn't know what kind of game it was. Yeah, like they were like, oh, does this game just all take place in this location? And it was kind of, it's like, well, no, it's like an RPG. Have you ever played like, do you know what Pokemon is? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it was like, it's fun. Sort of an uphill. It was always so fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Such weird responses to it. It was great. But not the response it got, which right, was the so weirdest which is why part. why we did things like keep save points in there. Oh, so it's going to be like a bigger game. You can save in between. Yeah. yeah it's people just... who go to conventions and play Y2K are not the same people who talk about games online, though they might walk amongst each other yeah, at it's, the convention. Uh, it's pretty interesting. That's great. I, I <laughs> It's awesome getting answers to these after so long. These are things I've been wondering about for a very long time. Okay. It's so funny. Uh, like, I would never think anyone would care about that. <laughs> I I latch on to the weirdest of things. It's good to know. Uh, yeah. And I guess that's all I have to say on that matter. So before I leave, I just I want to thank you for making this game. It's I've had a really weird experience with it, and my, my thoughts on it have changed drastically for a very long time. Uh, but I think I've, I've settled on enjoying it, and I'm very, very excited to see how IV turns out. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. All right. Cool. Awesome. Uh... Um, Shaney64, UHD, 4K remaster. You have been invited to the stage. No, oh, finally. You know, that version of the game was pretty rough. Yeah, I'm glad it got an Ultra HD 4K master. Especially Heck. compared to Shaney 64 UHD 2K um, 1.5 plus 2.5. Yeah, well, uh, actually, there's a story behind that, but I don't want to get too much into it. Basically, uh, long story short, my Discord got hacked. This is a new one. Hello. Oh, Hello. damn. Sorry to hear that. Hello. No, nah, it's it's all good. Discord. Um, oh, well, first of all, uh, I have a few, actually. Well, first, okay. first and foremost, I've actually been, like, I've been following, like, well, the development of this game. I mean, well, it's out already, but, like, I've been following, like, it's since, like, 2014 or whatever, 2015, you know, here and there. And, you know, like, I saw it, you know, uh, one of these days, and, and like, I just, it, it 
got released suddenly, and I was like, hey, that's neat. And, you know, I, I've watched a few videos on it, you know, and, like, people got mixed feelings. You know, I get it, but, you know, I've played it. I think it's okay. But one thing I've... The first gameplay trailer I saw was, like, you know, well, of, you know, the battle system. I was wondering, like, aside from uh, Mario RPG and stuff like that, um, did you guys get, like, uh, inspiration from uh, Shadow Hearts at all? Oh, totally. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's actually why we asked Hiroki Kikuta to do music for Y2K, because he worked on Kudelka, which is the game that comes before Shadow Hearts. And it was like a I connection th that we thought was cool. I, I thought so. Right yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So that I, was like I, the idea. Yeah. No, no, it's all good because it, it's it's been a question that's been just bugging me for the last four and yeah. a half years. Yeah. I mean, and it's game just like technically works different, but it's definitely like visually inspired. Yeah. I think so it's I, even like, mentioned on the reference page. I probably is. Yeah. Probably. See, I, I thought so. And, and like, uh, personally, I'm just so glad that I'm like not the only person who remembers Shadow Hearts ever existed. I, lo so I'm I just love like, Shadow Hearts. Yeah. So it's, it's incredible. Everyone should play it. Yeah. So good. Good. Everyone yeah. should play it. Yeah. Everyone should but, uh, play anyone... PS2 games. Yeah. <laughs> that, it, PS2 RPGs in general, actually. Uh, yeah. They're great. Oh, yeah. and, and, One of the best eras. You're going to, yeah, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if a modern audience can dig them. Uh, no, yeah. no, they, they, they yeah. just wait. They, they just wait for a um, uh, a um, uh, expansion pack that costs like half half of the game. Yeah, I mean, in some ways, PlayStation what, games are more palatable. In some I ways, think. yeah, they are because oh. they're designed more like Super Nintendo games with 3D graphics. Yeah, yeah, but I do like me a good PS2 RPG. They were trying, yeah. I get you. There, uh, well, uh, before I uh, do leave, there was one more question. It's like, what is the future of this game? Because like. Again, I've been following like the updates for this game for for, for well 2020 and beyond as well, and like I, I like where it's going. I remember the golden alpaca scene, how people meme the hell out of it, and it's like I'm not gonna lie, it's it's kind of funny, but it's like just. Uh, and then I saw the revised version, and I was like, whoa, this is like dead ass actually good. <laughs> like, um, what what is like the future for the game? Is what I'm trying to say. Ask. Uh, well, I guess we plan on putting out this update, um, which should, uh, shock and terrify people. And Boy, I, can't I think wait. people will like it. <laughs> I think it's going to I be alarming have... how big of a jump in quality it is. Sounds <laughs> really funny. awesome. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Yeah. I, it, yeah. I did have, I did have one more question, uh, before I, well, head out. Um, do you do, do you guys have any plans on like, a? Uh, working oh after this uh do you actually have plans on re uh remaking two brothers or whatever because i've i've been intrigued by it but i it's not available for purchase anymore but i i've just it's just really intrigued me uh yeah it's eventually uh going yeah. to come to pass i mean we're going to but it's it's a, such a thankless thing like to be entirely honest like gotcha yeah it's hard to do it's honestly and... like in some ways it's a bigger game than y2k is yeah uh, it's... especially like remaking it and like, it's just the two of us and yeah it might end up being like um that we take the original version and get that one working yeah um, like we were thinking like maybe like they have this they have a bunch of updates to multimedia fusion maybe import it into their fix problems yeah, rewrite and... like most of the code but keep like the layouts and stuff um yeah we're and gonna just figure out how it... we tackle that yeah because comparing like the new version of the remake versus the original the original is still much further along even yeah. with its problems and there's like a bunch of people like who worked on the original who um were, like are like contractually like involved in the game so like we would have to like when we remake it yeah it's basically not going to make us any money it's going to make we yeah it, but we it's... would make like three dollars yeah on each copy i still want people to play it though yeah I think it's so a that's cool game. yeah yeah so that's it's tricky yeah. well, well we'll get there uh, yeah and, but the thing it's is, all like, good. we can't also. I also doesn't feel good selling it now because it doesn't really run on a lot of PCs. It like require like a very yeah, specific exactly. thing. So it's like, so, nah, I get you. Hopefully, we'll fix it and then we'll make it available again. Um, yeah. But we have um, we have bigger dreams than a game we thought of so many years ago. Like we're, Y two K IV is something really fun to work on. But like we we can do a lot more than this, and we want to show <laughs> people, but. We, we have to do yeah. this first, so... I think fans of that game will also like our new game. Same uh, with yeah. Y2K. It's, uh... Even if you don't immediately get it when you see it, it's, uh... 
it's so very, it's, it's, it's very vague us. And, it's very us. Yeah. So I think the thing that's good about Y two K is the, the the best that we can do, and the best that we can do is better in the new game. So yeah, yeah. Because uh, uh, if I remember correctly, you said that like it was uh, well, aside from I guess like you know well port helping or whatever, like you guys basically worked on it on your own. Uh, which aspects? What? Sorry. Well, uh, Y two K or well, just oh, most. Oh, I of mean, it. even even we did yeah, all the even port, the porting. We, we did, did the ports ourselves as well. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So like yeah. we we're the ones who tested on the switch and start do the certification and run it on the dev kit and yeah. We don't yeah. have like any. It's just the two of us. We're that we're it. Yeah. And it's been that way for a long time. It's been that way for, since like a year before the game came out. Like we. I gotta say that's actually really game, impressive. But, yeah. Well, thank you. Oh, thanks. Hey, no problem. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. I really do appreciate it. It was good to actually meet you, like, honestly. Like, seriously. You as well. Yeah, thank you. Hmm. Have yeah, a good night, and uh, you guys take care, okay? Yeah, you take Thanks. care as well. Thank you. Right. That was fun. I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do, uh, let's do, like, two more, and then wrap it up. Two more? Like, okay. Uh, I'll try to get some of the other If there's any questions. Bran, you have really been like invited that. to this stage. How's it going, Bran? Hey. I'm good. How are you guys doing? I'm yicking out. <laughs> you can out. I like that. It's the name so, of the um, podcast. the out. atmosphere of the Yik update's really cool. Like, I like the art design that you guys are going for, the art direction, all that oh, stuff. That. Pretty cool. Thank you. So, um, my question for you guys is, I noticed that you guys are making a lot of overhauls to the game, like, changing a lot of, like, the old stuff that a lot of people didn't really take seriously. So, what I was wondering is were there some moments that you felt from the original Yeek that were iconic that you kind of like reluctantly felt that you should immortalize or are you yeah. like completely changing everything okay so like it, this is kind of goes back to like everyone asking about how you actually release something you can't be precious about it like you gotta just you gotta just move forward like if if something has to be reworked you just rework yeah. it yeah we also don't really have the same like nostalgia for certain things yeah that other people do like we just see like the we just like to us like we look yeah, at it and it's like, like well this is our work and then we can change it and then it's still our work like that's just kind of how it yeah has to how, be. yeah it's, it's um, all the way to, only way to be. I I would say that every change that we've made is for the better. Like yeah, like I don't think you can look at anything we showed tonight and go the original version is better in any way. Like this is just a yeah. It's so it's such a expanded and, and more expressive thing. Just like with the characters' facial expressions and like the few cutscenes, like getting close up to the characters and getting to be intimate with them. Yeah, I think that's what's nice about this update more than anything is just being able to get like close to the three D models. Like you can like feel them and yeah understand them better yeah absolutely nice i respect that i'm gonna miss lemonade though <laughs> uh, so like I, how, like how much are you gonna miss it so much that like we shouldn't have made this update <laughs> Nah, i'm just messing with you guys everything uh, uh, looks great <laughs> oh, okay thanks. love the direction cool cool stuff cool. all right cool hell yeah all right uh, you guys have a good night you too all right, Andrew, uh, as this will be the last one before I make it, like, text only uh, okay. for both, like, on both of our six, mm -hmm. I will let you choose the uh, final person to be brought on. Okay, pick the middle what, one. what are the options? Am I picking a number? Uh, we have Rion the Ghost, we have Stars Philip, we have Grimble, uh, Grimbledorf is the name, we have Some Dude Other, we have Al 2009 Man, we have Dusky. Uh, whose birthday it is. Happy birthday. Happy uh, birthday. We have Professor Oblivion. We have Stellar5555. We have ASDWZ. We have Act8113. We have um, Konami Code, so Linguistic Spaceship, from the uh, subreddit and also the Discord in general. Uh -huh. We have um, Detective Yig. Uh, we have Kebetsu. And then we have yeah. Seppu. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, I think maybe we could we could do a few more. There's a, that's a lot yeah, of people. Yeah, that's a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, that's like, that's 14 oh, okay. people. Let, why okay. don't we get the uh, birthday person? Yeah, in. the birthday person. Let's get the birthday? All right. Oh, yeah. uh, where you are you? Damn, I just Start fucking had you too. Dusky, here you go. You've been invited to the channel. All right, everybody. One, two, Hi. three. Hi. Happy, oh, happy birthday, birthday to yeah. you. I'm not saying that again. Happy birthday, happy though. Birthday. Wonderful. And I'm glad you're I'm born. really happy with the way things going. Thank you. Thanks. So...
Um, I wanted to ask, uh, is, are there any characters that you particularly favored? And if so, have they changed throughout the development of the game? Um, I'm not sure that I've favored, like, one character of the other myself. Like, there are new characters that I like a lot. There are old characters that I like a lot. Um, the only thing I will say is, like, for me, like, when I start animating them, like... I feel like I'm starting to understand the like, way they move better and I like kind of get into their head in that way. But I don't think I can pick a favorite. Who's the funnest mm. to animate? Um, actually, Alex is probably the funnest to animate. Nice. Um, he can do yeah. a lot of like, really wacky stuff. He's got like this nice, bold like yeah. presence about him. He always reminded me of Woody. <laughs> yeah. Um, and funny. Michael like like Buzz, which is why we had Bridget do the. Yeah, I think Michael's the, the hardest for me to animate, which is weird. Yeah, uh, I think he's the easiest to animate in theory. Um, yeah. Did we miss? Did we answer your original question? I'm not sure. Oh, Andrew, Andrew, as far as like writing characters, who do you think is like the easiest to write or the most fun to write for? Uh, I don't think about it like that. Um. I don't. I don't. I. I no, I don't know. It, well, I don't no, know no. why these like choices are so hard for us. But... Yeah, like it, it's <laughs> not. I'm not. Yeah. Um. Is there any character that you're really proud of the way you wrote them, or something like that? Uh, so, I some guess kind of for the for the update, I, I I'm proud of the crow. I think the crow is. I think, I think he's a he's a he's a fun character and i think he yeah. he gets to do some some interesting he's stuff a pretty fun one to animate as well I guess. yeah and um uh i guess uh i'm i'm interested in like irregular presences like why is this character so prevalent in the story like someone so um yeah. uh, unusually placed like the crow eating popcorn talking to sammy like I, that's that's interesting to me that's stuff i i find compelling i like the juxtaposition of the two so like with the crow that's kind of the idea but it's never presented like that anywhere else in the game it's presented in a bunch of different ways yeah but that's like the thesis of the character so he's fun to write yeah mm -hmm. thank you happy thank you. birthday thank you oh yeah happy birthday all right um andrew i'll let you pick again okay okay so let me see i'll I, if it helps go, i'll get a with... screenshot is is alf's in there is who is alf's trying to get on alf's oh no unfortunately not no okay i don't how, even see do alf's I, how do you in tell? the crowd how, how do i see who has oh show requests okay this is much oh, this easier is to see. see yeah i see yeah I have to guess. um uh detective yudrisil Detect okay. You have been invited to speak, detective. A good boy. Long time. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> hey How are you? I'm doing great. I'm excellent. Man, I'm super, super fucking stoked, stoked, and super impressed by just the the new UI, the everything, the battle system. Uh, Holy, thank you. that means a lot. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> And I was actually had a um, and when you're talking about streamer mode, I have a lot of questions with that. Okay. That's how I've um um about what what that what that would entail because I have a lot of friends that are streamers because yeah. I have because uh, whenever um, IV comes out, I'm actually going to gift it to two streamer friends of mine to boost cool. it, to boost you guys a bit. Sick. Awesome. Uh, one of them is a uh, sticky BM who's. Uh, one of them is Sticky BM, and the other, uh, and and another one is Unique Geese. That I'm gonna give that I'm gonna give give it to whenever it comes out. Awesome! And, Thank you. Um. Um. How uh, how would that uh, how would streamer mode work? Like, okay. Uh, so the the new battle system, and kind of like a lot of the visuals mm -hmm. in Y2K are about treating the sky like a green screen. Yeah. Oh. And um, the battle mode, we present the carta and other things using the background color as if it was just like something that was being keyed out and then peeking into another reality. Oh, and, that's awesome. And uh, you can just place yourself behind like you're the carta. Yeah, it's like, then the colors won't change and it'll yeah, stay there. Yeah, and the, it'll be you 
like like basically like this video footage in the background because you can just key it out and because it stays one color and you can yeah. run the game so something yeah. like that oh that's super awesome yeah and um how would that work uh, um i wonder how it would work for because one of the one of the person i'm going to give uh, give to is a png tuber i don't know what that is i would just oh. the vtuber person Okay. I mean, that's just gonna. It's just. It's literally just gonna be. Yeah. It should. In it's theory, just a green screen. Screen. It's not. It's. it's, it's yeah. yeah. It, it yeah. Just. So it's just showing the background. Okay. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're but, welcome. Yeah, yeah. Just... And yeah, just yeah, to be clear, streamers don't have to play it that way. Yeah. No. Of course not. Yeah. It's not like every. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a joke. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. pretty funny. Yeah. Like, that's cute. Cool. Yeah. I I don't have a couple friends that will really enjoy that. Heck, I'll enjoy that cool. myself. It's cool. I, I love I love the meta aspects, especially the more, the, especially since you're adding way more meta aspects. That's one thing I loved about the original Yik, and then adding more to it, I'm like, oh, good shit. Thanks. <laughs> but um, I'm also um, I'm also wondering about um, oh shit. I think someone already asked about the uh, somebody probably already asked about the voice actors and stuff. So I've. <laughs> Uh, what about them? I um, probably answer it. Is there yeah. going to be any new lie at li Well, I think you probably have said before that there wasn't going to be any new lines for uh, for Alex. So, um, because of the original voice actor, or is that um, has that changed? No, it hasn't changed. So okay, okay. so like Y two K is like one point yeah. oh. Like all like that story stuff remains, and like everything that yeah. happens to Alex is is constant. That that we did not change. That we we okay. we didn't really embellish it. We just drew attention to certain things. But then there's a whole other story that's interwoven into into the game. And but, I'm super super okay, excited yeah. for that. But like to answer the question, like yeah, it's not gonna feel like it's missing anything. Yeah, it's yeah. Like that story was already done. Like, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. say it works extremely well. Like you don't even if you were to play it for the first time now, you wouldn't even know that it was like interjected into the game. Yeah. yeah. And like the adding the new stuff in helped us pace some of the other stuff better as well. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um yeah, so like there's no new lines for Alex that hasn't changed, but it works. And it it, it works um in an interesting way. Yeah. It's a uh, fun yeah yeah that it, it just i just looked in the oh but yeah that's fucking awesome thank you i i, I don't know if you saw you saw like the <laughs> the sketch in there that was uh, pinned but i, I oh yeah know. no i have not there's a sketch of uh alex body pillow and uh... i did i just did that <laughs> Okay, I, I'll I'll check right, it, we'll but see this. it's not gonna be on the video because um yeah yeah you can go, you can go find boomer. it yourself yeah, yeah. <laughs> draw draw your own yeah all right it's mostly a joke but I had a great uh, but thank you thank you so much you're all awesome and I'm well, so you. glad to have yeah you know, been a, been able to um pretty much I've been I. I, watching, watching your development over the years and have great that you guys have greatly fucking improved and i just i'm in awe and it, it means a lot to me and you guys mean a lot to me thank uh, you well thanks thank a lot thank you that's really thanks nice for coming by say. Yugi. it's always great seeing you Aww, great seeing you too i love you guys a lot you, you know we we're like a yik family the <laughs> y2k sure, yeah. family i mean if that's All your right. parasocial relationship that's not mine <laughs> <laughs> I have a parasocial relationship with Alex Y2K. All right. <laughs> we are. See right. you, Yugi. Okay. We'll see ya. Okay, let's do one okay. more, and then we'll go to, uh, we'll wrap up. Yeah, yeah, all see. right. Okay, so uh, let's see who else is trying to, I'm going to pick one more person. Um... Let's bring on Linguistic Starship. Linguistic Starship, All right? You know, sometimes I sit here and I, um, I see that I could just invite so many people at once, and it tempts me. 
I could just I could just bring <laughs> on the entire yeah, yeah, yeah almost the entire voice yeah, chat. Last time we'll just do everyone at yeah, the end. And they everyone can at the end to make a coherent question. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, KK, you're on. Yeah. By the way. Hi. Uh, hey. I just, I, since the whole game is like getting this massive overhaul, I'm wondering if there's any changes or additions to uh, Anism 1999. There's um, additional Anism content, and that's all I'll say. Ah, that sucks. I was, I was wondering if you would like uh, talk about it at all, but I guess it works good as a surprise, you know? Yeah, it has to be. Mm -hmm. I guess since you don't have anything to say um, about Anism, I guess I'll just ask another question about, yeah. um, <laughs> like, if you'll ever return to Yik. Not in, like, an actual... Someone already talked about it a little bit, but I'm saying, like, you know, uh, in, like, maybe a short story kind of way or some kind of spinoff, maybe in the distant future. Um, it'll probably happen. We were talking about that. Um yeah, like we've had we have ideas. Like, um, really, we want to get started on our on our next like big project, um, but like we don't want it to die because people like it, and we know a lot more people are gonna like it when the update comes out. And at least it's gonna be more people who want to talk about it, and that's yeah. that's something. So it's like if there's people who want to engage with it more, you can kind of keep saying a little bit more. Um, like maybe we would do like a short film like a ova or something uh that like uses onism as like a a binding story thing and it'd be about new characters and we would animate it but like better yeah. than we did in the in the game like something like that would be cool something that we could say like oh we're gonna devote like 12 weeks to this thing and we're gonna make something awesome um hell yeah that's awesome yeah so maybe maybe something like that but it'll probably be we'll see who knows yeah Hopefully. Okay, well, thanks for uh, answering. Uh, good luck with 1.5. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Oh, oh sure. this Wait, is a okay, good okay, question okay. that's uh, not related, but people have been asking about the Japanese localization. Yeah. Yes. And it, they're asking if it's going to come out day one alongside IV. Um, it I has to. It has, it has to. to. Because... Yeah. Um, it's uh that's how the Nintendo Switch works. If we updated the game in their local, you can't have like yeah we'd probably end up breaking it. If yeah, you'd, you'd break the game, yeah. so it has to. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a barrier. It's like voice acting or oh. um yeah, a few of the other things. Yeah, yeah. It's part of the reason why you don't have it yet. <laughs> Besides it not being done. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. So that's the end. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Let's make right. ev let's invite everyone at yeah, once. Yes. Time for then, chaos. And yeah. then we'll just do like a thirty seconds yeah. of that. Everyone and, let the chaos. Watch yeah. Over. Ask yeah. all your questions as fast as you can. Yeah. Let's see. And I will. This is this is what it's like in yeah, our we heads. We might hang up. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh. I'll let in like three at a time. No. No. All at once. No, just, all, at all at once. All, all right. Fuck it. We ball. Yeah. All in. Holy Wait, I'm shit. Question. Shit. Uh, oh boy. Why 2K2 boys? This is not it's going to like, end. Why 4K? Why 4K? Oh, sure. It's my question. Well, I'm going to be a flyer over the bed. Oh, he's setting the menu on the modern RPG. Welcome to Yeek, a postmodern RPG. Well, Alex, you're out of the format, please, I really hope you can see you. Hey, I love Railbar. Bye, guys. Okay, so we're still live, but we're not on Discord anymore. Yeah, it turns out that was a mistake, but now we know we don't do that. Okay, so that was fun. Okay, thank you all for joining. Yeah. Yeah, this was really cool. Yeah, I think um, this is our first stream ever, right? Yeah, we've never live streamed yeah. before. Hope we didn't mess it up. Yeah, I I think we did it right. We practiced yeah. like and we we tested. It was a little little, little weird, but um Yeah. We're going to do more stuff like this. Like we're going to show like advanced combat, like what it's like with like more party members. Yeah. And like very gameplay focused stuff and we're going to, you know, try and uh you know, just keep more of a 
presence to keep you guys in the loop yeah. i think that's just sort of the tip of the iceberg of yeah. the update that we've done yeah i think so um if you liked that uh, yeah we have not shown too much. If that's yeah, your I know fear. a lot of people are worried about that. We've shown uh, nothing. Yeah, like basically no one's seen anything, and they're all worried that they've seen everything. And yeah. I'm like, well, no, not really. You don't exactly. Yeah, you don't know what you're about to walk into. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, uh. Yeah. All right. Well, buy everybody. Yeah. Buy our merch. <laughs> How's it going, boyos? It's your boy, Hellcry, back at it again with some sick advertising. You love Yik, you breathe Yik, you need to have Yik fill that empty hole in your heart. Well, I can't solve all your problems, but I can tell you where you can buy Y2K, a postmodern RPG merchandise. I know 